It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the brilliant idiots, and today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. Scroll up, Taylor. All you got to do is go to... Boom. <laughs> and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's start the show. Shotzi. What's up, baby? How was your weekend or your week? My week was good, man. We're busy, but it's good. I've been uh, in, in indulging in some good uh, good content. There's working on working content. on a top secret project. Top secret. Top when secret. you can let Can't that fly so we can shit on these fuck boys. Hey, it's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. You know what I mean? You got to give me a couple names. You got to give me a couple names when people need justice, Charlotte, man. Tell me who's on the hit list. They go get some bars. Nah, it's no hit list. Always let um, success be... You know your 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 best reply. Yeah, that's it. But sometimes it's fun to reply. They to, see it. Yeah, they see it. But sometimes it's fun to like make sure they know exactly. You know. Listen, my motivation always. I don't I'm know more why. Petty than you. I don't know, bro. You might be more petty than me. I think our petty level might be equal, but my I, I've I've learned to channel my petty differently. Yeah. The last dance, man. I'm telling you, the last dance. It changed you. Changed my petty perspective. It put it put my petty in perspective for me. Interesting. When you take it personal, just make sure you execute it through the work. Give me an example. Michael Jordan. Michael yeah, like, Jordan sitting in that goddamn locker room oh, with, with that baseball bat, bat yeah, yeah, smoking yeah. that cigar, <laughs> and just thinking about all that shit, BJ Armstrong? BJ Armstrong? <laughs> BJ Armstrong? You done won three rings with me because of me? Yeah. And you got the nerve because you have one good fucking game? Mm. See? That's, that's that's me. My mood is always Michael Jordan with the baseball bat smoking the cigar in the locker room. Mm. So that's it. The you motivation, the chip on the shoulder man, motivation. I took it personal. George Carl, yes. don't want to speak to me in the restaurant. I take it personal. I take it personal. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't take offense. Yeah. Because that which offends you only weakens you. Mm. And creates the same negative energy that offended you in the first place. That's where revenge comes into play, right? Right. Because then somebody does something to you and you want to go back and do the same thing to them. That's whack. Right. You ain't got time for revenge. Revenge is for broke motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because when you don't have anything else to do, that's what you resort to. I'm serious. It's so true. It's true. I don't it's got time really for revenge. True. Revenge. It's true. Please. Now we gotta go get revenge. Now we gotta go get money. We gotta go get money. That's it's motivation. It's good. You know what I mean? That's cool. I'm, I'm like it. I like it. It's motivation. I, I do like the motivation. Yeah, man. It is weird. It's hard to be motivated when nobody's coming for you. Oof. You know what I'm saying? Or Pull maybe up. maybe it's maybe it's better to be said like it's much easier to be motivated if you create Oof. that enemy. Ooh, T- right? pull, pull up Ti motivation lyrics, Alex. This is going good. I Why? Like what, what does he say? It's, it's he good. Said? It's good. You, I'm telling you. I bet you you'll start listening to this before you hit that stage and shit. Oh Hold really? Look, look, look. Okay, get uh, it. go to the hook. What's the hook? Motivation. Okay, let me do this part, Andrew. Motivation. Okay. Niggas faking only gonna inspire. Motivation. All you're hating is fuel to my fire. It's motivation. Negroes plotting on the crown, slowly dropping. It's motivation. Hey, when I ain't slowing down and I ain't stopping. Motivation. Now you don't stop my show. Motivation. You ain't know I don't stop. I go. It's motivation. Sucker just can't make me suffer. Just make me stronger and make me tougher. Motivation. I need to get into T.I., bro. Yeah, just get the clean version. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like how you started editing it. That made me feel way more enjoyable for me. <laughs> that first N word is sharp. <laughs> what is it, 1230? That's my first N word of the day. you like, dang, should I like this? <laughs> Is it okay if I like this? But no, for real. Take it personal. Take it personal yes. and let it be your motivation. That's all. That's all. Just the revenge. Like, revenge is for poor people. Yeah, <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> and I, I mean, I mean, that, I don't mean that. I don't mean that for like poor people. Poor people. I'm talking about poor people. <laughs> Give me an example. What do you mean by that? Like people, who, people who are 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 are, are in the game um, and act like they have it all together. 
Mm. But, but when we're looking at them, you're like, oh, you don't really got it. You're fake. There you go. It's a filter. P- poor everything. Poor character. Not really up financially. Just poor, just just a poor individual. Yeah, this you know is, that mean? was a good save, bro. Like you've saved shit in the past, but. <laughs> That save right there. That's Mario no, Rivera, bro. Because I mean, that's how I really meant it, though. I don't like, you know, I don't, I don't ever shit on um people because of their financial situation, unless they act like they got money. There we go. Now, if you act like you got money and I we find you out you don't, shit on those people. Ap- you should because they're because they we're not shitting you for being poor. We're shitting you for being liars. For fronting, word You're up. Fronting. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, why do we hate that? You know why we hate it? Because I think maybe there's like part of us that feels insecure by the wealth that they're presenting. And then when we find out that they were faking it the whole time, we're like, how dare you make me feel insecure? I don't even think it's that. I just think that, um, I mean, that's not a bad point. I just think that when people front like they got money, it shows the insecurity in them. And they think that uh, having something like money, having currency or something of some monetary value is going to make them a better person, mm-hmm. but it doesn't. Mm-hmm. To me, the, f- the fullest people in life are people who, you know, see life for what it really is, who, right. who move with a certain uh, level of integrity, you yeah, know, who, yeah, yeah. who always display good character regardless of what their situation is, yeah. whether they up or whether they down. What's the saying? Like, you could tell the true uh, testament of you man could, by... By how they treat people who can't do nothing for them. Yeah. Or, or, or you could tell the true, true character of a person... Or how they reply when their back is against the wall. Keep going. When your back is against when your back is against the wall, you either gonna, you know, sit back and assess the situation and yeah. ease your way out, or you just gonna fucking fight or flight. Fight everything in the room yeah. and just don't give a fuck who you cut, give a fuck who you shoot, you're just gonna take everybody out just to sh- to save yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when a person's back is against the wall, that's when you really get to see what a person is truly about. Like, what what will you compromise when your back's against the wall? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, are you gonna, are you just gonna lose all control? I remember once I was talking to Duval. Did Duval ever tell you that time where he like, he was in some, I don't know, some fucking island where there was like a, a, a an under rock river? Yes, and he was, he, he thought almost, he was gonna drown. He almost yeah, yeah, drowned. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, and he's like, Normally, I probably would have just freaked out and tried to like lash all over the place and, you know, squirm my way out. But I knew that that was going to guarantee my death. So I just calmed down. I looked for where the top and where the bottom was and I went for it. Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. That's like a gay man's buffet. Yo, it don't matter where the bottom? top or the bottoms are. Damn, I just going bro. for it. Shouts to Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trump Trump is not playing any games this week. Did you see all the videos? He doubled Which down. Which ones? There's so many. Bro, he doubled down. They said he's high out, out of his mind right now. He's, really? He, oh, yeah. He's like on Adderall or Ritalin or some shit like that. Why? Just because of anxiety because of the campaign? Not even anxiety. I think that he's got to seem like virile. You know, he's got to seem like he got it all together. He's coming off this corona and he's like, I'm immune. I could go into the crowd. I could kiss everybody. I'll kiss the men right on their mouth. Oh, I love that. He said that. And I then he goes, that. I saw that. That was very goes, progressive. I might not enjoy it that much, but I'll still do it. He said that? Yeah, bro, <laughs> I didn't see that no, part. I didn't see no, that part. That you made shit. that up. I swear to God. I saw the I'll beginning right part. Now. I saw him right say now. he'll kiss the men in the beginning. Nah. I didn't say him nothing about nah, saying nah, 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 nah. I'll put it right there. There it is. Come down and start kissing everybody. I'll kiss every guy, man and woman, man and woman. Look at that guy, how handsome he is. I'll kiss him. Not not with a lot of enjoyment, but that's okay. (laughs) 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 He's stealing that gay boat from Biden, bro. (laughs) How you gonna let him steal the gay boat? He's 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 uh he's campaigning on the wrong thing though. He, he, Chris Christie is the guy you should be using, man. Yo. Chris Christie's 563 pounds and got asthma and survived COVID, bro. Yeah. Open the country, man. Open it up. <laughs> Crack it open, bro. Open the country, man. Okay. This is fucked up, man. I just looked at a DM. Somebody sent me that, like, yo, this is you kissing your girl? Hilarious. Couple with big noses be like, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Fuck up. Let's, let's, get, let, let, let's get into the show. What did you All see right. this week that you thought was positively brilliant? What did you see that made you say, what a fucking idiot? Positively brilliant got to be Trump going gay. <laughs> I love gay fun, bro. I love white boy fun. So anytime you can play with it, especially like when you think of the perception of like what is like the most conservative right wing MAGA dude, right? You think that they're going to be super homophobic. Did you He's, say MAGA? No, I didn't. What did you say? I said MAGA. Oh, MAGA. I'm yeah. like, whoa, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, point is, he came out, he's dancing a macho man. I. Macho I saw man. That. That's YMCA. That's why. Oh, that's the shit. gay groove. Trump know what the fuck he doing yes. for real, yo. Yes. 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, you are LGBT cute. <laughs> Yo, that would be hilarious. Trump would be like, I put the T in LGBTQ. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Gay dudes gotta vote for him. They gotta vote for him. Yo, by the way, you gotta admit, very progressive. He's gotta be more progressive than Biden. In what that do you think regard, happened? In, what? Why like why do you think the, the pivot? Why do you think the pivot? Um, little colon check while he was in the hospital, maybe? Yo, that's interesting. Maybe. They might have gone up there. There might have been some sort of rectal exam. And, and it's doing. impossible to not orgasm. That's not true. I don't believe that. People that. say it all the time. No, I would, no, no, no. We actually did a topic on Breakfast Club no, that no. Taylor hated on. She did not want me to do the topic. This is a gay myth. And nurses were calling saying they do it all the time. It's Didn't they, Taylor? What are you talking about? Remember when they was doing the colon check? You're talking about uh, like a guy's you, G spot is in the butthole. Yes, hole? like on no. American yeah. Pie. When did we it's gay math. We definitely did the topic, and people were calling in, <laughs> saying, <laughs> saying what? that they were coming. This is this is gay guys put the propaganda out no, there they so they did, can finger no, our no, asses. No, that is true though. They do come. They don't come. It's yes, not real do. cum. It's just fluid. I know. I know this for a fact. I looked it up because it smelled a little fishy for me. It's like a guy starting to say to a girl like, "What? It smelled fishy. What you mean? You was doing it." somebody they was doing it to you what happened what, what, you mean? Saying, like, no. what I'm saying is like you heard people say this they're like oh listen if a guy needs to orgasm then all you got to do is just finger your butt that's where the guy's g-spot is and it's like if I was a gay dude that's what I would tell straight guys <laughs> right that's just propaganda yeah, true true, like true. Telling your girl, yo, your g-spot's in your throat and they, and they were yeah. coming from the butt what I watched gay point they were coming from the butt there's no way no 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 no, no I didn't say that Taylor what happens is <laughs> hold on wait a minute the they're coming out of their butt like the guy pulled out and there was cum. Yeah, the yeah, guy's he cum. Nutty, cause he, no. Do you know how no, sex no, no, works? No, no, no. It was on the guy's dick. The guy that was penetrating him. Because uh-huh. there's no his... place for the cum to go when you nut in somebody's ass. Yeah. Unless it's not it like was, the cum travels. Unless it was the lube shit that turned white, then whatever. No. What it look like? A fresh Cinnabon? It looked like cum. Okay, let's explain the birds and bees detail, right? <laughs> when you have a vagina, when a man ejaculates, sperm travels because it has some place to go. It's trying to get to the ovaries, right? The egg, yeah. yeah. In the ovaries. If you nut in Is somebody's in butt, male or female, there's no place for it to go. No, yeah. I know that. I'm not saying. So the cum didn't come out of the guy's butt. Let me tell you something. If you're a guy and you're coming out of your butt, you are a gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah very yeah, gay. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can become gayer than that. Yeah, that's back. It's, it's like gay backdraft. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> um, but no, that is that. It, that was. Why are we bringing Jesus into this, bro? <laughs> Whoa. Why are we bringing Jesus Whoa. into this? Whoa. Why Whoa. though? What's he about to do? <laughs> <laughs> I feel a punchline coming. What's he about to do? <laughs> Listen, you know what else I thought was positively ripped, brilliant? No, Jesus is not Jesus? ripped. I don't look at that, bro. What? Wait, you've never seen Jesus' bod, dude? No. Dude, pecs, abdominals, bro. Hair looking perfect. Really? Yeah, dude. I never saw it. Wait a minute, you guys have never, go p- put up a picture of Jesus. <laughs> don't pull up Jesus, no. leave Jesus alone. No. Yeah. Whatever Jesus is doing, you do not want to be bothered. No, Jesus is, listen, Jesus having brunch right now with Pac, and Jesus is like, is Andrew fucking with me again? I'm coming am I gonna to show? <laughs> I'm telling him, he, he's fit. Jesus like, am I going to have to show Andrew Bro, something Al, again? Bring up P90 Jesus real quick, would you? <laughs> Who is P90 so, Jesus? Somebody said, oh God, I forget whose joke this was, but they said, uh, that's CrossFit. <laughs> 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 wow! Wow! Tell me he's not written that. And go, go good abs, Al. I actually <laughs> think it may be okay to get jokes off about white Jesus. Yes, I think it might. I'm not sure, so I don't want to test it. Yo, but Christians I, know how amazing a body Jesus had. He's literally the Son of God. You think the Son of God is going to have a trash body? Now that's, uh, that's be, ridiculous. Look at my man right there. Now that's ridiculous. I've not seen that. Son, that's Ryu from Street Fighter. That's not even look, Jesus. Look at this, meme, this meme says, look, look, this meme says, look at how ripped Jesus was on the cross, though. Man, those abs. OMG, his pecs. Total sploosh. <laughs> Thank you. What the Thank fuck? Thank you. I've never knew that. Did this Jesus thing. have chiseled ass? People, yes, he did. Did Jesus that. work out too much? Nah, nah. Don't disrespect Jesus with that beer belly, bro. This is re- this is Look at him. Insane. Jesus ripped. He's not. 
He is. That's shredded. Yeah, he is shredded. Taylor, that's six pack. Yeah. That's shredded. And back in the day, they didn't have any like cool gym equipment or nothing. He's eating hummus all day. A bread, this guy's yeah, got an I mean, amazing body. He, given he, a diet. He, he was loaves of bread and fish. Local, uh, yeah. Drinking wine all the time. Drinking wine. Yeah. God bless Jesus, man. God bless him, bro. Listen, uh, you know who else was positively brilliant this Ooh. week? Bill fucking Burr. Oh God. I thought Burr was brilliant. I texted you on Saturday night. I said, Bill Burr on SNL. I literally brilliant. thought that he was going to have a lot more people upset with him than, than, than I saw. What I saw mm -hmm. was exactly the way things are supposed to be, mm -hmm. meaning it was a balance. Some people liked it. Some people didn't like yep. it. Yep. I thought that's what you want. Mm -hmm. I just thought people were going to jump on the fake woke train and just be upset. You know who saved him? Who? Black people. You think so? 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which because the only people upset at that are like white women, like liberal, rich white women with trust funds and like super beta male dudes that are trying to get laid by those white women. Very contradictory, though. But what I'm saying is black people watch this and shared it like a motherfucker. But I'm going to tell you something. And so I was, now those white people couldn't say shit because they're like, this is so offensive. And then they see all the black people like, nah, they got it right. Now the white people are like, okay, we'll be quiet. I was shocked at a lot of sisters, though. I'm not going to lie, because those are the same sisters who don't want nobody referring to women as bitches. So the question I asked on the radio Monday, when is it okay to refer to women as bitches? It's your bitches. He was referring to his bitches as white women. He's married to a black woman. But he was calling white women his bitches. True. Think about that. He goes, I, what do you say specifically? He's like, my bitches. My bitches. So but so how does feminism work then? Because feminism is supposed to be across the board, right? Feminism is supposed to be women don't want men disrespecting women. Mm -hmm. So even if you feel that way about white women, shouldn't you stick up? For those white women being called bitches, shouldn't you say, hey, I agree with Bill's point, but I don't think any women should be called bitches? You should. You should. But if I may speak on behalf of my bitches, <laughs> that's none of y'all business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't tell y'all about your women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah, yeah. tell uh, me about my bitches. I'm not mad at you. I, I think I, I kind of like that separation. I, I get it. I just want everybody to keep that same energy for later on. That's all I'm saying. Intellectually, you're 100% right. Yes. Intellectually, the feminist movement should just be about gender in general. Yes. If you have a vagina yes. or if you want to or if you identify, if you also are that then you should be able to just, you know, fight for all the rights that women should want to have. Yes, yes, and you should yes, be yes. offended by all the things that are against women. That being said. I thought it was great. It's comedy, baby. That's what, and, and that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Bill Burr in that moment, because for whatever reason on Saturday night, everybody understood the nuance of comedy again. Mm -hmm. well, I don't he's know. That, he's that good. He and is. It, and there's a different, like, he is, like, specific things that he does. Chappelle's that good, though, and people don't understand the nuance of his comedy when he offends certain groups, when he says things about transgenders or whatever, like, people get upset. Maybe the joke wasn't that good. I thought it was great. Which one? The transgender one from the, not anything from 846, the transgender one from um, Sticks and Stones. Oh, about the car. The car yeah, being in the bar, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but the transgender community was upset about that. But it was yeah. a it was a joke. So I'm just trying to figure out when do people see the nuance I think, in comedy? I think for this specific set, I mean, it was so genius because what he did is like he played off of the oppression matrix, right? Like if you're somebody who believes in like an order of groups that are oppressed mm -hmm. and like black people are at the top. And then maybe gays are under black people or trans are under black people, then gays and then Asians and Indians mm -hmm. and then at the way, way bottom white people or whatever reverses. All you need to do is make sure when you're punching the joke, you're using a group that is more oppressed than the group you're making fun of. Mm -hmm. so, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I get it. if you're talking about gay people and you're saying they don't deserve a month. If you justify it by saying black people get the worst month, why can't they get a better month? You got all the black people saying, yes, yes. And all the white people going, well, black people got it worse than gay. So, okay, I can laugh at this joke. And you it got all the black really gay people confused. <laughs> They're like, huh? What? huh? What? And then they go, wait, two months of party? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think black gay people are cool with that the whole summer off. The funny part about that bit was I knew that they was going to flip Bill Burr's words. Because what Bill Burr said was, um, the LGBT community has not been enslaved, but I saw the narrative shift on social media and they were saying, how dare he say LGBT people haven't been oppressed. Not, he not, didn't, say, didn't that. say that. He didn't say that. He said enslaved. He didn't say anything about oppression. Yeah. Even though enslavement is a part of oppression. He said they weren't enslaved. enslaved. That's a big, that's a very distinct word. There have been gay people that have been enslaved, of course. but not for them being gay. 
Yes. Because the second you would be put in chains, you'd be like, oh, no, did I say I was gay? I'm not gay. Yes. And then you're out. Yes. So, and and I, 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 I knew that they flipped that on him, and I knew they were going to do that. But overall, I was really like, wow. I was like, wow. Also, I like the reaction the from February it. February line, like they're equator people. Why are you giving them February? I thought it was that great. That shit was so funny. I thought dude. Bill slapped. I was, I mean, I'm sitting there on the couch like laughing. You know, first, you know I'm like SNL monologue, so you laying back. Yeah. And then you're like- Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Now. Wait, what was your first laugh? Uh, it might Talking have been. about dreams come true when Rick Moranis got punched in the face on the Upper West Side. I didn't that, understand that one. Oh, that shit killed me. I didn't the guy from it. Honey, the Sh- I Shrunk the Kids got punched in the face walking yeah. down the street. And he's I just like that. happy that it happened. I had no idea Rick got punched in the face. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got knocked out. Why the fuck would you punch Rick Moranis in the face? He shrunk them kids, bro. He can't be shrinking kids. <laughs> <laughs> does he still look like Rick Moranis? Like glasses and everything? He probably does, bro. God, that's he fucked up. Does. That's yeah. not a good testament to New York being back, bro. I mean, a nah. little bit, though. A little. Somebody get robbed in Times Square at gunpoint. Then you'd be like, all right, New York. This is New York again. I'm looking at Al who's dressed so New York right now. <laughs> Al brought out his New York outfits the whole last week. Today he was doing chicken noodle soup with the soda on the side. You know, when I walked in, y'all was playing like uh, uh, and Guru shit. and shit. <laughs> By the way, um, there's what? nobody that can quote Guru better than Ed Sheeran. Really? Ed fucking Sheeran. If Ed ever did lip sync battle, he should do right where you stand. Uh, guru and fucking Jadakiss. Really? He'll quote it ver- Beta. You want to know something crazy? I don't know who Guru is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sounds about right. I don't know who Rick Moranis is. There we go. You don't know who Guru is. He's a brilliant is. idiot, hey, baby. baby. <laughs> you remember that guy from Ghostbusters? Yeah. Who was fucking the dog? That's fucked up. Who would punch Rick Moranis? Show me the video of him getting punched. I never oh, saw no, that guess, before. He gets whopped. Why? Bro. Oh, yeah. He's just walking. Like, can Why? I get a drop whopped? Can I get a drop? No, no. He connects. Hold on. Let me see, man. Rick Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Nobody did any good, honey. I punched the kid dope joke after this. <laughs> Let me see. I used to watch the movie all the time. When was this? This was recent. Oh, yeah. This is literally like last week or so. This man is having a rough day. He got the I Love New York sweater on. You got to love it. This is super official. Keep going. Don't oh, worry. Oh, yeah. He just he just he looking to punch the first, first guy he white sees. person he sees. Getting knocked out. Oh, you see it back there? Oh, you hit the him already. Guy. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. do we know that was Rick Moranis? Well, Rick Moranis said I got punched in the face, and we're like, "Oh, oh come on, Rick!" Just looking for some fucking attention. You don't see it? No. I mean, I saw it, but how do we know that's Rick Moranis? Well, no, Rick said it was me. I got punched in the face. What did Rick say to him? <laughs> you, just walking. you victim blaming, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. We Are don't you know. Rick might have said something to him walking past him, yo. What Rick, do you think he said? He was rapping Ti motivation and let that N word fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck happened. What else? What else did you see this week? That was positively brilliant. I uh, made you say, "What Man, a fucking idiot." Uh, I saw a lot of good stuff. shit this week. Yeah, I didn't you see. see? A, I didn't see a lot of dumb shit at all, yo. I'm trying to think, anything dumb? Anything extremely dumb? I don't know. Al, we talking there about was some dumb stuff. What happened? Me, we were talking about in the group chat. Plies talking about the LA. Oh my God. Bro, what? pull that up. Pull that. It, 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 yeah. It's on the. Um, what? Plies. Prep. Listen, I got love for Plies. Salute to Plies. I oh, think. Um, love Plies. Plies is super entertaining. I think Plies is super smart. But, bro. It's my second favorite rapper whose music I don't listen to. This tweet right <laughs> here. Plies tweeted out, I think it would be dope if the Los Angeles Lakers gave the NBA championship trophy to Breonna Taylor's family. What the fuck are you talking about? Plies, put the Remy down. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Like, like, like we got to get over symbolism and we got to get over tokenism, but what the fuck is Breonna Taylor's family going to do with the NBA trophy? Yeah. Like, what's it? Like, why? That's can like, we, yeah, can we call him? Who, Plies? Yeah, do you have his number? I would love him to explain yeah, that to him. I used to have Plies number. I ain't talked to Plies in a minute. Not on the phone. Yeah, we got to get him to explain that. <laughs> what would they do with that trophy? What would the... F- why? Listen, if I, 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 I don't... I, by the way, I don't even understand the sentiment. Yeah. I don't even understand why he thought that would be a good idea. They didn't win the championship for Breonna Taylor. They're not even from LA. Exactly. Yeah, where are they from again? Kentucky. <laughs> they're not from LA. Yeah. Like, it, 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 there's no correlation between the NBA trophy and Breonna Taylor's family. Yeah. Listen, we all want justice for Breonna Taylor. Mm-hmm. We want the best for the Breonna Taylor family. Mm-hmm. That ain't it, Plus. Yeah. That ain't it. That ain't it. It's just simply not it. Like, why? I think it would be dope if the Lakers get it. I mean, and by, that's when everybody's caught up in the hype. 
Yeah. You're happy. You're happy LeBron won. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we, we, we haven't really had things to celebrate all year long. Yeah. Bought a championship back to LA. It's like, huh? LA ain't won a chip in 10 years. Kobe died this year. Yeah. They dedicated the trophy to Kobe Bryant fan. By the way, people were saying that the trophy should go to Kobe Bryant's family. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, no. No, they dedicated the season to Kobe. Right. They dedicated the win to Kobe. That's LeBron's. That's Anthony Davis's. Yeah. That's the Lakers. That NBA bubble was stressful. They was away from their families for a few, a few months. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's their trophy. I completely agree with that, but I'm just saying Plaska at least said Kobe, though. Like, you're no. saying No, I'm just saying. But it doesn't fix. Someone. I hear what you're saying because Kobe's more related because <laughs> yeah. it's Lakers. But yeah, it just makes absolutely no sense. How did you feel about uh, the Lakers winning? Do you think LeBron is starting to, I don't know, Come a little closer to Jordan in no. the conversation. Yeah. No, not at all. Not not even close. And really? and I think I think that it's disrespectful to LeBron. When I saw LeBron after the game, and LeBron was like, "Yo, um, give me my. I just want to get my respect. My respect. Yeah. LeBron deserves all the respect in the world. And LeBron yeah. would already be getting his respect if we stop comparing him to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jordan is on. He's he's up here. Michael Jordan is a god. Like I, I I'm 42 years old. I've seen Michael. Yeah. His whole career. Yeah. I've seen Kobe Bryant his whole career. Yeah. I saw the tail end of Magic Johnson. I saw Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I saw Allen Iverson. LeBron James is absolutely one of the greatest players ever. Argue top three, top five, whatever it is. Sure. It's, he's not Michael Jordan. Yeah. He's not Kobe. No, nah, I think he's I think he's Kobe now. No, he's I, not. Are you I think he's he Kobe. He's yeah. on the fucking court. All he does is cry all the time. You never see whoa, Kobe whoa, cry. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to call LeBron pussy. Fine, I'm not going to call Why are you pussy? so disrespectful? But I'm just saying, y'all know what I'm talking Jesus about, though, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? The most disrespected man on the planet <laughs> is, LeBron, is the black LeBron man. James. The black man. No, LeBron James. Why don't know what I'm talking about, though? You know what I'm talking about, though. No, I've never seen. I'm not going to call LeBron pussy. God damn. That was harsh. a little more aggressive. Though, as in, like, don't act all crybaby, like, oh, I hit my wrist. You know, y'all saw still that. sounds like I, you're calling him a pussy. I I'll think, it's very, I you. think, I think it's like very oppressive for women to be like reducing men man. to their body parts. Just, yo, that <laughs> you know, what I'm we would never do that to you. How you reduce a man to your body part? Yeah, that's fucked I up. I hate when y'all switch shit. This is crazy. I just don't understand. <laughs> and by the way, I don't call people pussy because I enjoy pussy. All I right. think we should start doing that shit, Charlemagne. What? Just calling girls, yo, this girl's acting like a nutsack. <laughs> Look at this nutsack over here. <laughs> what is she doing? Whoa. Like In Philly, they do say nut ass. That's what that that's porno no. was you saw when that man <laughs> when, he, when he nutted in that man's that's butt nice. and it came back on him. That's, that's nut ass. <laughs> That's what that ass is. Yo, yo, yo that's just crazy. So Philly. She's so Philly. You just type in Philly terms into the porn search. Word <laughs> she went to point up and put in nut ass. <laughs> that's what you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You went to porn up, yeah. typed in nut ass, and that's what you saw. You saw a man's ass oh, nut. Oh, bearded nut ass John? <laughs> she probably was looking for her, <laughs> looking for a dude she know. Yo, you know that dude that you used to mess with back in the day? He's on Pornhub for real? Mm -hmm. Let me Google his nut ass. Uh, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> also, what the fuck what's happened? a beard in gay culture? What is a beard in gay culture? A cover up. They call it a cover up. You didn't mm -hmm. know that? No. Yes, a man who pretends to be. <laughs> Let me not talk about all this gay shit. With my legs <laughs> crossed like this. Hold on. Let me spread my legs more manly. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with being gay. Did you guys gay. know what a beard is? A gay culture girl. But I, I, I will say to Taylor's point, even though she's using these oppressive terms yeah, to describe disrespectful humans, but. <laughs> Men um, are humans too, yo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even though we build like donkeys out here. LeBron's huh? skill set. <laughs> maybe LeBron's all around skill set is probably one of the best you've ever seen. Yeah. Right? No, no. But he he's not exactly. He don't have that black mamba mentality, that killer mm -hmm. instinct. Like when Kobe's on the floor, it's a good chance they're gonna win this game. Is Kobe passing up that last shot in game five? Hell no. Daniel Green could just sit on the bench. Hell no. All four of the other guys what could just fuck? go sit on the bench. Hell no. Kobe going five and going one. <laughs> Hell no, Kobe not passing. Are you serious? Yeah. Michael might though. MJ might. 
That's Depending. right. He passed the pack city. He passed the curve. There was a meme that went around about Mike. Someone asked Michael who's doing the last shot, whatever. He was like, me. Me. Yeah. That was from the last dance. Uh, and by the way, LeBron made a good basketball play. He made the perfect basketball He made play, a great which basketball Which is what he play. always does. But he didn't make the perfect alpha male basketball player play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right? mm-hmm. Alpha male basketball play is holding that ball mm-hmm. to the final shot, mm-hmm. and he's taking that goddamn shot. Mm-hmm. He's not giving it up. But I wonder if... I wonder if his ability to kind of like delegate the responsibility and oftentimes, maybe not the leadership, but at least like the last second shots, I wonder if that's going to stretch out his career. Because I wonder if he'll be able to let AD take over and he can play second fiddle to AD and be a really effective second fiddle where maybe Kobe wasn't able to do that, right? Like Kobe still had to be the alpha of the team. He wasn't willing to like relinquish that star role. Lakers going to need more pieces though. You think? Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not as loaded. They're not as loaded as the Clippers. They're not as loaded as the Warriors. Yeah, but the, maybe the Warriors when they start to come back and Ooh, the Warriors got a pick. It you let, let let Warriors pick that goddamn seven foot one center from fucking Memphis. Um, Wiseman. His name James Wiseman. Who's that? Yeah, James Wiseman. Nah, he black. James Wiseman, seven foot one, can pass the ball crazy. He only played a year in Memphis. And then he, I think he got fucked up with the NAACP. Not the NAACP. Who the fuck? NCAA. NCAA. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened with the NAACP? Him, James man. Wiseman. James Wiseman is a beast, yo. Really? Yes. If they get him at number two, uh-huh. that's starting five of Curry and Thompson in the backcourt. Yeah. Wiggins and Draymond and Wiseman in the front court. Oh, my God. Wiggins. But yes. Wiggins, Wiggins is a little soft. No, he's, yo, but Wiggins, Wiggins is a little soft. Wiggins averaged 23 last year. Yeah, but he's soft. Like, Jimmy Butler ate him up. That's why That was one of the reasons why Butler couldn't work out in Minnesota because all those guys were soft. He don't need to be a star. All, all Wiggins got to do is come in there with his skill set. Mm-hmm. Clay and Steph going to take so much pressure off him and they back healthy. He gonna, he'll probably average 25 next year. Mm, so he'll just, being like, a, just being a swing man. He'll be like the Harrison Barnes. Remember yes, Harrison Barnes? Man, yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's yes. going to be trickier out there. Yes. But still, LeBron, you can't count LeBron. I think LeBron got one more in him, bro. I think he got one more year of peak LeBron. Like He'll take whatever team, that it, whatever team he's on to the finals. I think one more year. I don't know. You don't I mean, I, have, so. I, listen, I don't have no reason to bet against him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if the Clippers got it, man. I think Paul, you want to talk about like mental weakness. I think Paul George got some real, he need to hug a tree, dude. He needs to talk to some crystal expert. He really needs to go through the whole Charlemagne transformation. You think so? Yes, because the dude mentally is not there. He's got the physical abilities. That's how I feel about Kyrie. Kyrie, I think he has delusional confidence the opposite way. I think, really? Yeah, and I think you need it to be six foot and think that you could be dominant in the NBA. You need to have delusional confidence, but sometimes when you have delusional confidence, you don't um, you block out all criticism that can help you. Yeah, see, the, I, you know, I get what you're saying because that mental aspect of it takes you to a different level. That yeah. mental aspect makes you like a god amongst That's men. That's Jordan, right? That's, That's Jordan. It's literally like watching, like if you've ever seen Fantastic Four or, or, or just any Marvel, it's like watching Thing. Right, like, like, like LeBron is this thing. Oh, he's the Hulk. Which one is thing? The Rock guy. The Rock guy. Yeah, because okay. he's just such a great physical specimen. He's stronger than everybody. Like he can yeah. just ball out. But it's just like, 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 like uh, Michael Jordan is like cerebral with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he has the skill set. Not saying LeBron's not cerebral because his basketball IQ is through the roof. Yeah, I'm just. It's just. I can't. If you you had to see Michael to understand it. Yo, you had to see Kobe yeah. to understand it. It's just this one little it's gear killer. that they have. Yeah, like a killer instinct, a will to win. That's just like. Mm. It's like, instinct, like game five. Mm. No. Yes, game five. Like you said, I doubt Michael's passing that ball. I doubt Kobe's passing that ball. But guess what? The other thing, if we were watching that game back in the day, we knew the Bulls was about to win. Mm. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't up in the air. I'm like, oh, Jordan, Jordan going, he got this. I remember as a Knicks fan growing up, you remember when Jordan would come in in the fourth quarter with about eight minutes left? He would get his rest at the yep. end of the third and then the first maybe like Three minutes of the fourth, he'd get a little rest. And he'd come back in. And I remember being a Knicks fan going, okay, we are, we're up eight, but Jordan's coming back in. And the entire time, you're terrified. Because you see him slowly start chipping away at that yep. lead, chipping away. And you're just hoping that you could hold yep. him off. And it's not going to happen. That's the inevitable. The, the shit dude's going to win. Michael Jordan is like Rocky, bro. Mm-hmm. He's like fucking Hulk Hogan. Mm. It's just that he plays a real sport. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a you know, real life superhero, you, you know, man. Hulk Hogan was getting his ass beat, but you knew eventually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
You knew eventually yeah. that finger was coming and he was going to kick you in the face and hit you with the leg drop. Yeah. Same thing with Rocky. You yeah. know eventually Rocky was going to come back and fucking win that fight. Yeah. Michael Jordan the same way. Yeah. And Kobe was the closest thing I saw to that. Yeah, with the killer. Didn't I don't I didn't know that LeBron is phenomenal. He's great. Mm-hmm. I just don't see that in LeBron. And the problem is That's what he wants though. I, I give LeBron that's what he wants, yeah. but I give LeBron respect because he's the first LeBron James. I'm not comparing LeBron to nobody. Yeah. I, I, we we got to stop doing that. The reason we got to stop doing that because we're not doing him any justice and we're actually discrediting, discrediting Jordan's legacy. Yeah, but you know, we love these comparisons. How, it's how we make sense of the world, man. It's the conversations we have at, you know, the barbershop or just the group text. Like, it's so much fun to have these hypothetical conversations of who's the best, especially in different times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Because obviously they can never compete, so you never really know. But it's an honor to be mentioned in it. But I also understand LeBron, like, I tried to put myself in his mind. Like, how does he justify himself being the best? Because I think he wants to. He's the best in this era, without a doubt. This era, I think. I think what he's thinking is, well, Jordan didn't take three different organizations to the finals. Jordan didn't rebuild a team three different times. Jordan didn't have to do this all scratch. Jordan had a great coach. Right, Jordan had a great organization. I never had a great coach. Maybe one great or not two great organizations. Like, I think he's like I've done more with less. I don't believe that. That's what LeBron thinks. Yeah, LeBron played with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. He played with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. Now he mm. plays with Anthony Davis. Mm. Like, come on, man. Stop. Like, why I can't miss Chris Bosh, bro. Why can't he be part of the GOAT, though? Like, why huh? can't... You don't think... You don't think he sees himself as, like, the best already, though? I think in, like, he believes he's the best ever. No, yeah. but do you think that he's trying to be better than Michael? Yes. I think he believes he's better than Michael. I think he, he believes I he is. I don't... Listen... It, this will be one of the few cases where numbers lie. Because LeBron's going to have all the numbers. Ah. But we got eyeballs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And people can say whatever they want about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan dominated the NBA in a way that we've seen few people dominate any industry ever. And it's literally like everybody likes to say, oh, but he didn't make the playoffs the first seven years. Who the fuck cares? Mm-hmm. After those seven years, when he figured it out and he won, he never lost. Mm-hmm. He won three in a row, took a break for goddamn half a season and a uh, whole season. A, couple, right? a whole season and a half a season. Yeah. And still came back and won three more. Yeah. Just like peace. What do you want? That. Yeah, like that's the difference. That's, you can't. That's that's un, that's it's unheard hard of. To be compared to Jordan, you, you like, shouldn't. You don't compare yourself. You can't though. do it. You like, can't, bro. And the sneakers. The sneakers are fire. <laughs> LeBron sneakers been trash. But <laughs> I know people have been trying to make them hot, but give it up, dude. I don't think we hard, understand. Bro. I don't think we realize what that's Jordan so bad, means to culture. Yeah, Michael. Jo- Michael is literally a basketball player, a verb. A sneaker, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like Michael Jordan means just his cultural cachet is just through the roof, and, no, and LeBron's is too. But no, it's just like stop doing this. Just stop comparing them because you, you, you'll LeBron. You'll never give LeBron his just due if you keep comparing him to Michael. Yo, Jordan. if LeBron had better sneakers than Jordan, do you think that he's the goat? No. no. Do you think this generation <laughs> will admire him in the same way? No. Man, I love. That's Le- the thing. Like I remember loving Jordans as a kid, man. No one has better than Jordan. Say what? Who has better? Who's the next basketball Penny. player that has better? Penny, and it's not even close. Penny, yeah, Penny. We don't even call them pennies anymore. We have like different names for them because you know Penny's career kind of like went sour. But I mean, Pip too though. I was like, bring Pippen had a couple. Nah. I never fucks with Pippen. Scotty has some joints, man. Nah, what do we have? The the foam posits. Pull up those Pippen Wait, airs. Yeah, pull them up. Yeah, the Pip- Pippen has the second best sneaker collection of Pippen, any basketball Pippen player. Pippen has some history. good shit, yo. Fire. The phone posits alone. How the fuck did you spell Pippen? I can tell you, Dominican. Pippen. Um, <laughs> Pippen. He put <laughs> piping. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Pippen is a porn name. Oh, those are his. No, those, no, are, his. those are not his, Two, Taylor. P I P I P P E N. That's what I put. No, you didn't. You no, put P I P P I N G. Then don't let it correct you. No. P I P P E N. Okay, there you go. The second one right there. The second one. I mean, all of those, but that one, the, the joint with the air, those shit was fire. They were all right. I like that. They was still trying to flex them those, shit was fire. Like, those are dope, too. Right, those right bro. there, the Nike Air Pippin 2, nah. they come in different colors, though. Nah. They got the white ones like that, but then they got the black ones. Them shit was dope. Oh, the sneakers come in different colors? Yeah, the Nike Air <laughs> 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 The Nike Air Pippin 2, them shit was dope. Okay, what else they did I- They like track shoes, though. Yeah, those shit suck, dude. Pippin sneakers are trash. Oh, Killer Mike. Positively wow. brilliant. Yeah, go. He opened up a, a, a black bank, you know, yeah. um, an online black bank called the Greenwood Bank. 
Um, Talk to me about this. I just love Killer Mike. And tonight, well, we're recording this on a Wednesday. Tonight, he's um, receiving a first ever Changemaker Award at the Billboard Music Awards. It comes on at, well, you, 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 you've seen it already, but it'll right. be, it came on last night at 8 p.m. on NBC. And man, Mike is just so dope. And the reason I love Killer Mike is because like, I met Killer Mike like 20 years ago mm. when I was doing radio in Columbia, South Carolina. And I had on some Jordan 3s, ironically. And I remember that because he, they was uh, on promo for Purple Purple Ribbon All-Stars album. And he's, he was like, yo, them 3s cold. And like we vibed that whole time. We went out with them that night. And it's just like me and him been, 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 been partners ever since. You know what I mean? But he is a person who is all about action. Yes. Killer Mike is a person who doesn't care about the noise. Yes. Let him talk. Let him hate. He lets God navigate. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like it don't matter. I'm gonna go meet with Brian Kemp because I care about my state and my city more than I care about your opinion. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Like, I'm gonna go sit with you know uh, Colin Noir at the NRA on the NRA channel. Yeah. Because I care about black people exercising their Second Amendment rights more than I care about your opinion. Yeah. And what you're going to think of the optics of me being on this NRA network. Yeah. That is a man that does not give a fuck about anything but black people. You need to be brave to make change. Yeah, yes. And bravery is going to come with the scrutiny that you receive, you know. And that's why he's a leader. Yes. Leaders simply lead. Yes. They don't ask for permission. Cuz guess what? The best way to get yes. people to follow you is to show and prove through actions and deeds. Yeah. So yeah, people may for that moment give you a bunch of hell on social media, mm-hmm. but then when you turn around and you start executing shit, and then what? Yeah, now they got to shut the fuck up. Now they got to shut the fuck up. And you got to let them shut the fuck up and you got to let them come back on board. You can't- He's, he's not shutting anybody out. Yeah, you can't shut anybody out. No. That's not what a leader does either. You got to recognize the error in people's ways. What do they say? Uh, prophets let people convert. Ooh, on their own. On their own. And like now, I saw the uh, article came out yesterday. Killer Mike has, Killer Mike, Andrew Young, and Ryan Glover, salute to all of those, uh, those, those brothers. They have tens of thousands of people on a waiting list just to sign up for so, the Greenwood Bank. So uh, this is brilliant. I love this idea. Um, I didn't even know you could just start a bank. I don't even know how that works. I didn't know either. I mean, that's kind of fire. Hey, do your thing. I'm with it. I'm supporting. Yeah, it's great. So, like, what happens? Like, are are they giving out loans? Yeah, like all people? of that. Like, yeah. How, how is it's it? It's a bank. I mean, because uh, the way Killer Mike explained it on Breakfast Club, I think it's like 60% of all banking is done online now anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, they're just, they're, they're, they're launching an online bank just like anybody else could have a bank. I mean, the bank that I use, I think, I don't think they have any brick and mortar locations. They may have like a big one in LA or some big one in New York, but it's online. And they, what they basically say is you could use any ATM and we'll cover the ATM fee. Oh, wow. Because they're like, I'm going to save money not having a big ass brick and mortar on Fifth Avenue that I got to pay $100,000 yeah, yeah, a month yeah, rent yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. We'll take your little $3 ATM fee. Yeah. That's the future. Why? When do you go into the bank ever? For what reason? You're not going to look at your money like Scrooge McDuck. There's no reason to go into the bank. None whatsoever. All my checks go direct deposit. They go to my financial team like i don't and also if you're gonna get cash you probably just gonna hold on to the cash put that in the safe somewhere hey, you know, know what I'm it's saying? not like we don't pay taxes obviously we pay all our taxes you know too I mean? much but taxes too much you know so if we get some cash but but we sal- just hang on to some cash salute to killer mike and salute the billboard for giving them that award you i know love what I mean? mike we gotta get mike back up here man, man mike is brilliant now, mike is one of my favorite humans on the planet because he literally only cares about the betterment of people mm-hmm. especially black people mm-hmm. like he don't give a fuck about nothing else mm-hmm. and he and he takes it all in stride and that's what a true leader has to do are there people that criticize mike i feel like yes this all the time support, at least what i see i mean but it's social media though that which we, which you can't put stock in anymore i keep telling people that like social media is literally the home of all the people who can't criticizing the folks who are actually doing oh, and that's what they say those who can't criticize those who can just simply do interesting and that's what guys like killer mike are doing i respect it like i don't like here's the thing i'm not i can't criticize anybody that's doing something that i'm not doing like i see people they'll criticize tamika mallory and until freedom like you know tamika and mallory they've been they've literally been living in kentucky for like two months 
because of seeking justice for Breonna Taylor. Like they moved, they, they, they were, they're living there, like living there, protesting every day, you know, holding events. And I, I saw people get upset with them when they did something called Breonna Con or something like that. It was like a, 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 a weekend where they had different speakers and stuff just to bring attention to it. And people was like, oh, this is disrespectful. Why would y'all name it this? It's like, yo, shut up. The name is what you're Don't give a fuck. They doing the work. Yeah, they're doing the work. That's just if, if you think that's lame, but you're okay with Joe Biden uh, hiring battle rappers to campaign you for him, that shit, then sh- you're being a hypocrite. That was one of the most pathetic videos I've ever seen. I think it's life. disgusting. Just hire Yellow Pain, man. <laughs> Yellow Pain is phenomenal. That's what I'm saying. He knows Hell how to do yeah. it. Yeah, God damn. He did it effectively. Man, Yellow Pain is so fucking dope. Yes, just hire him. Hi- take a Yellow Pain. The video Yellow Pain already did. Post it. Pay for it to get aired on networks all over Done. the fucking country. That's it. Yes, I agree with that wholeheartedly. He already did all your promo for free when you think about it. Yeah, what a fucking idiot definitely goes to the Biden campaign. And I know y'all get upset with me because y'all think that I'm always on the Biden campaign's ass. But it really does bother me how bad Democrats fumble the goddamn ball. Can I, can I ask you about that real quick? Like, aren't we harder on the people we love? I don't love Biden. Uh, I don't. The people we're supporting. Yeah, like I think that's the saying. You're harder yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. You love. You're harder on your kids. Yeah. Right? You're harder on your, your your relatives or whatever like that. You're harder on your best friends, right? Like if I'm supporting you, I expect a lot from you. Exactly. So yeah. like the criticisms might get highlighted, and people are like, oh, why is he so hard on him? And it's like, well, you're harder on him because that's the person that you're going to vote for. Yes. Realistically, so yes. it's like I need you to come through with some real yes. shit. Yes. Stop all the gimmicks. Stop all the fucking pandering. Yeah. Put the tangibles on the table for the black community. That's how you will energize the black community to yeah. come vote not by doing battle rap ads and no disrespect to Charlie Clips and DNA because they did a phenomenal job like they always do they're super dope but the fact that the campaign went to them to do that is weak to me if, 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 if they had did that on their own and it was organically done I respect them for doing it why don't you help them man why Ooh. don't you why don't you why don't you get in there why don't you have these conversations I give them ideas like I told them that they dropped the ball last week because one thing you say one thing about Donald Trump mm-hmm. Last week, they had the vice presidential debate. If it wasn't for that vice presidential debate, please tell me what the fuck Joe Biden and Senator Harris were discussing last week. I don't remember. You don't even fucking remember. Mm -hmm. That's because Donald Trump sucks all the energy out of the headlines. You know what Donald Trump does so well? You know what else he sucks? (laughs) (laughs) Allegedly, he goes back to his base. (laughs) Yes. Soon as the VP debate was over, he was on Fox News the next morning. Yes. Calling Senator Harris a monster. Give me that. Give me those headlines. Give me those headlines. Two hour virtual rally Friday Rush Limbaugh show On the radio Said fuck Two I hours said, if, I, if I ran fucks with us They'll feel something They never felt before You know what I mean Fucking call <laughs> <laughs> Calling LeBron a hater <laughs> Iran is gonna feel something They, they never, never felt, felt before, before. <laughs> God bless you Donald Woo! Trump MAGA <laughs> Make America gay already <laughs> <laughs> this guy Donald is crazy Make America gay already Yo, Yo. It's mad funny <laughs> I'm not waiting no longer <laughs> Y'all need to be gay now Now Alright <laughs> Okay <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that guy Donald, man. But what he does better than everybody is he goes right to his base. He goes right to his base. Yep. And don't give a fuck. Like the Democrats don't do that. Yeah. They know what they don't go to what, what, they don't go to their base. They do stupid shit. Like, yeah, let's run the battle rap ads. I, I know I, we can combat this with battle rap ads. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like the shit is Yo, stupid. You know what it is? His base is more centralized. Break it down. Like, I think Trump's base, especially his, like, devout followers, Mm -hmm. he knows exactly what they care about, what they want, and how they feel. And really, what they care about, what they want, how they feel is Trump. So, as long as Trump acts like Trump, right, he's their superhero. Mm -hmm. So, as long as Mr. Incredible saves the day, as long Mm -hmm. as Superman, you know, goes faster than a speeding bullet, everything's fine, right? Yeah. The Democrats don't know what their base is. The Democrats are like, okay, I got to appease these black folks over here. Okay, there's some gay guys over there I got to take care of. Okay, there's the Bernie uh, Bernie white people. Yep. that uh, They're super left, so we can't piss them off because we want them to be a part of it. They don't know how to appease their base because they don't have one base. They don't have one base. That makes sense. 
I can see that. But that's why in this in this uh, with this campaign, it could be so unique because you have Joe Biden, who's the older white guy Mm -hmm. who can appeal to the same people he's been appealing to forever. Those middle class suburban folk, you know what I'm saying? The working class. And then you got Senator Harris who can appeal to the black people and the progressives Mm -hmm. and those people who are a lot more left leaning. Mm -hmm. And she's still a a, a centrist at the end of the day. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like she 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 has the capabilities to appeal to a a, a broader coalition of people than Joe Biden or Trump does. And they're not, they're not even using her correctly. Mm-hmm. It's actually stupid. Yo, yeah, like the only thing, go. They haven't been on The Breakfast Club since the whole presidential campaign. Oh, no, Joe did. Joe, Joe, when he did the You Ain't Black shit. Yeah. But Senator Harris has not been on since she's been named vice president. Why not? I don't know. She says she's coming, but it's just my point is. But she did sh- Monica and Brandy, though. You did Monica and Brandy. She should have came already. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, Trump goes to his base all the time. Every single time. I read this article. It was an article that came out this week. It was in the New York Times. Um, it says how conservative, cons- how talk, how conservative talk radio is turning millions of people into conservatives. The Rush Limbaugh's, the Sean Hannity's, the Glenn Beck's, whoever else is on mm-hmm. talk radio. Mm-hmm. They say they are converting millions of people into conservatives every single day mm-hmm. just by people listening to the fucking radio. Mm-hmm. So what did Trump do? He went and tapped right into that shit. Virtual, right? It was almost like it was genius. The, the, the fucking article came out on a Thursday. Trump did the virtual rally that Friday. Yeah. It's like, he's, it's like somebody saw that and was like, yo, Trump, you need to call Rush right now. Mm. And he was on it for two fucking hours. Just talking shit. Just talking shit. Adderall up. Adderall yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, did you see what they posted? They really know what's going on. What Go up a little bit, Al. The Biden for... President, but instead of president, they take away the piece so of president, president. And it's hilarious. All home. Trump retweeted that. Bro, I'm telling you right now, November 3rd is going to come down to a photo finish. Really? I think so. Like a photo of like back in the day, them wearing <laughs> no, blackface man. or something? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, man, like a close race, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. It's like, who did more racist stuff in college? <laughs> and your market said, glow. I, by, they don't give a fuck. Yo, by the way, they don't give a fuck no more. What you mean? Yo, positively brilliant. My man, Jamie Harrison, raised 57 of $52 million in the third quarter in his Senate race against Lindsey Graham. Meanwhile, Lindsey's like, let me throw these races Hail Marys. Lindsey Graham said, you can go anywhere you want in South Carolina. If you're a black or you're an immigrant, as long as you're conservative, not liberal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What you do you didn't mean? see that? No, I didn't yes. understand the headline. Then yesterday. Break it down. So Lindsey right Graham is, is the what? He's the South Carolina. Senator. He's a senator. Senator. And he yeah. says. Right there. Lindsey South Graham Carolina says is South... open to blacks and Latinx. And Latin, Latinx folks. What's Latinx? I, I, I don't know. Another name for Latino. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't know. Latin X? Latin X folks, as long as they are conservative. Is that the little Mexican girl that's going to be Wolverine? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's great. That would be diverse. Y'all, Latinx y'all, y'all haven't seen Logan, bro? You know the little Mexican girl? That's a Latin X, X, bro. Her name is Weapon X. I'm nice with this, No, her bro. name is Weapon X. She no, said no, no. carnal. Latin X is a gender neutral <laughs> neo- Logism? Oh my god! I don't know what the fuck that is. Listen, <laughs> enough with the alphabet. Start using some numbers. You or know what else right? Lindsay said? What? Lindsay said in the debate at the uh, Amy Coney Barrett Senate shit yesterday, uh, whatever the fuck that was. She's a real one, yo. Why? why? Amy Coney Barrett? I don't know shit what about her. What are you gonna her? get her on? There's nothing to get this. Girl I don't think. On. I, I don't think she's doing anything wrong. It's she's not her good. fault. That, listen, and I, I mean this with all due respect. It's not her fault. RBG died. It's not her fact, fault that D- Donald Trump is in power. Mm-hmm. It's not her fault that the Republican Senate is in power. Mm-hmm. They're doing what they're allowed to do <laughs> under the what laws of the saying? Constitution. L- Lindsey Graham what? literally said to her yeah. on CNN and all the other networks that were airing it, something about the good old days of segregation. <laughs> no, he did. Yes, he did. Wait, wait, go back to the Lindsey Graham shit about the Latinx or whatever. Go long. Yeah. Man, shut up, man. What's a Latinx? <laughs> it's Latin X crazy. I don't know about that. I think it's like a Sphinx. You know? <laughs> Latin X. Well, I mean, what? you're Puerto Rican? I don't, you don't know, know. That is. Oh. That's only for, I think, uh, Hold up, play the Mexicans, co- right? Do we have the video? Is that video? Americans? And then we can pay some bills after this. Is there is there a video? But the other video was funny too when he said that goddamn the good old days of segregation. Lady Bug, Lindsay, Lady Bug Graham. 
what happened to Mr. Floyd was wrong and people should pay a price. But what's happening in America and in you know, all over the country is a war on the police itself. Do I believe our cops are systemically racist? No. Do I believe that South Carolina is a racist state? No. And let me tell you why. To young people out there of color, to young immigrants, this is a great state. The one thing I can say without any doubt, you can be an African American and go to the Senate. You just have to share the values of our state. And I'm asking to every African American out there, look at my record. I've been supporting historically black colleges and universities, and I'm glad President Trump has made it a, a permanent fixture now. We don't have to beg every year for the money. I care about everybody. If you're a young African American, a, an immigrant, you can go anywhere in this state. You just need to be conservative, not liberal. Yeah, but that you know he's talking about. No, I don't. <laughs> the other senator, Tim Scott. Tim Scott is a black Republican. Yes. So he's saying if you're conservative, it doesn't matter what you look like, you can go to the Senate. And then he's like, "See, you could go anywhere if it doesn't he ain't matter." He's talking politics though. He did right before. Yeah, but that don't no. You got he has to be specific cuz what it sounds like to me is you could be black or immigrant and go anywhere you want in South Carolina as long as you're conservative, not liberal. Now, being from South Carolina, how the fuck are people supposed to know if you're conservative or not? It's like being gay. <laughs> <laughs> You right? Already. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, you only do that shit behind closed doors. Well, be conservative? Well, yeah, be Let's gay or conservative. Uh, 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 is voting or We all got conservative dicks? values, though. I know I got mad conservative values. What's your most conservative value? I love guns yeah. and I love capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I'm, I'm being honest. I see you with the like, red and white hat. By the way, like most rappers, most rappers love guns. That's true. And they love capitalism. That's true. What the fuck? That's very conservative. Wait a minute. Are we finding out we're conservative? I always knew I had conservative values. What's your most liberal value? Most liberal value? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe rights for women or something like that. That's a value? Yeah. I didn't know that was a value. I think that's a value. I just thought that was human nature. Why wouldn't I want? Why wouldn't I want equality for everybody? Like oh, I all I can think of a few reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. What's the reason? Say what? <laughs> no, Here no, you go. Uh, Here no you reason. go. You can't let a good joke just sit. <laughs> Taylor looks at her clock, and if it's been 20 minutes and she says something, <laughs> she just got to say something. Why you got to dig deep on that? She's sitting there itching. I haven't fucked up a good funny moment in <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my good liberal... Let's pull up, pull up liberal values, liberal Alex. Liberal values. Women. Let's, Let's pull up liberal values and conservative values. Let's see what, what, what we align with. Liberal value. Liberal... You're liberal probably about Well, Alex cannot spell. Alex put liberal... Right. Va- doing... He's doing a lot. Al doing a lot. I'm not going to lie. Al doing a lot. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. Liberal. Liberal Are you conservative? conservative. Okay. Liberals generally believe. In governmental action to achieve equal opportunity and equality for all. And that is the duty of the government to reduce community issues and to protect civil liberties and individual and human rights. I'm kind of against a lot of that. Also believe the role (laughs) of the government should be to guarantee that no one is in need. I, I agree with that. Liberal policies generally emphasize the need for the government to solve people's problems. Liberal are often referred to as being on the left and put into a political spectrum. Democrats always use more liberal. See, what I disagree with the most is that it's the government's job to reduce community issues. Um, I do think it's the government's job to protect civil liberties Mm -hmm. and individual human rights, but I don't see how that happens because as we discussed on this podcast before, you have to respect somebody's human rights yeah. Before you even get to their civil well, liberties. You, you would also probably say, and I think this is where maybe the both of us skew very liberal, is like, if there's something going on that is a violation of somebody's human rights. Yes. Right? Then the government should step Yes, in it should be, be consequences like, oh, and chill, repercussions. What are you doing? Yes, absolutely. Right? Because sometimes if you leave people up to their own devices, they're going to create systems that's only going to benefit them. Absolutely. Like, and even, then we need the government to come step in and write that shit. Even when they say the government should be 
the government should be the guarantee that no one is in need. I agree with that. I think that there's no reason for an, another set of stimulus checks not to be cut right now. Yo, you know what's interesting? In an ideal world, yeah, we'd all have conservative values, right? In an ideal world where everything was even, we'd be like, yo, just leave it up to the people. Government, y'all need to do shit. We're yeah, reasonable. Yeah, yeah. We'll take care of each other like yeah. we need to. But unfortunately, the world isn't ideal. Yeah. So we need the government to step in and push us towards an ideal world at certain times. So it's normal to have both of those values. Yeah, let's read conservative. I mean, it makes all right, conservative generally believe in personal responsibility, limited government, free markets, individual liberty, traditional American values and a strong national defense. Also believe the role of government should be to provide people the freedom necessary to pursue their own goals. Conservatives Policies generally emphasize empowerment of the individual to solve problems. Conservatives are often referred to as being on the right when you put it into a political spectrum. Republicans are often viewed as more conservative. I don't necessarily agree with all of that either. So I would be I would definitely be in the middle. If those was ass cheeks, I'd be the crack. <laughs> I definitely would. Because I, I believe I do believe Yo. in personal responsibility, but when you live in a society that has systemically put people in certain positions. You can't be as personally responsible as other people. Absolutely. That's absolutely. why you, yo, and you know what's interesting, man? That's why the middle is so valuable right now because what you're saying and what I'm saying, obviously we come from two completely different walks of life, but we're sitting here, we're kind of agreeing on how we fit into the political spectrum. Mm -hmm. It's because the left and right has gotten so far apart. It's too far apart. That now, all of a sudden, there's this big space in the middle. Back in the day, there wasn't that much room in the middle. Yeah. So it was easy to go, ah, you know, I care a little bit more about yeah, like yeah, equity. Yeah, yeah. I care a little bit about personal responsibility. But when they're all the way over here, yeah. shit, bring I need those, somebody to represent me. Bring those middle. cheeks together, bro. <laughs> Nobody wants to have a big ass mm -hmm. asshole. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what mm -mm. America is right now. A big asshole. It's just mm -hmm. a big, gaping asshole. Mm -hmm. Bring those cheeks together, man. I know. Tighten it up. Tighten Dr. it Miami. up, man. Do your butt kegels. Like, even, butt when it says, kegels. even when it says believe butt the role. <laughs> like, I also believe the role of government should be to provide people the freedom necessary to pursue their own goals. Mm -hmm. That's almost impossible to do in this country. Because everybody's not allowed the same freedoms. Mm -hmm. If everybody was allowed the same freedoms, yes, free for all, baby. Let's go. May the best man win. Yeah. Free market, competition. Yeah. If I'm better, I get it. If, you, if you're better, you get it. Simple as that. Everybody don't have the same freedoms. Black you know people don't is? have the same freedoms as whites. Women don't have the same freedoms as men. It's, you know, openly gay yeah. people don't have the same freedoms as, uh, as hetero people. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, eh. it's, like with, uh, it's like with any sport. Like, you shouldn't need a ref. You know if you stepped out of bounds or not. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But when yeah. you're playing a game, yeah. you might lie about you stepping out of bounds. Yeah, so you yeah, need yeah, some yeah. other person to step in and go, hey, yeah. bro, you're cheating. Stop it. It's a turnover. Yeah. I'm I think that's what the government should be. I don't think that they should be overbearing, but I think they should step in when you notice some egregious shit that's oppressing certain groups of people. That's literally all, we, that's all we're asking for in regards mm -hmm. to the police. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's it. Like, how about these police officers have some goddamn consequences to their actions? I think that's where a lot of people get it mixed up is like, I assume the average black person knows that there are going to be black people that are shot and killed by the police, just like there's going to be white people shot and killed by the police. I think, and don't let me put words in your mouth, but like, I think black people are going... We just want justice when it happens it. in the wrong way. That's it. Get rid of qualified immunity. So you, you fucking with these people's pensions mm. or make it, you know, to where, yes, you're going to prison. Or like, you know what I mean? And yeah. in cases that are that aren't justifiable. You exactly. know what I mean? Yes. You go into prison or you losing your pension. Guarantee that make people think it's twice. It's unrealistic to think nobody's going to get killed by the police anymore. And in some situations, people have to get killed by the police. Like if somebody, if, if somebody is holding up my mom and putting a gun to her, I don't care what he looks like. And a guy, and a cop takes a shot and takes him out. They did the right thing. <laughs> they did the right thing. I understand. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I but you need justice when there's fuck ups. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's, let's pay some, let's pay some bills. Cushy Dreams. Let's take a break and pay some bills. Yes, Cushy Dreams. I want to tell you about Cushy Dreams. Cushy Dreams offers a full lineup of premium smokable CD, CBD. All right. Uh, they specialize in extraordinary CBD rich hemp flower, a.k.a. Bud. Do you remember Bud? When I say Bud, what do you think about? Uh, Cosby Show. Hey! I thought I'd take your black card, Taylor. Okay, but they specialize in bud and pre-roll CBD joints. Looks like high quality marijuana, feels like high quality marijuana, and tastes like high quality marijuana. Give me one more famous bud that's not black. Uh, the 
Bud is the dog, right? Oh, that's a good one. I forgot. <laughs> no, that's Spud. Spud McKenzie. I was thinking about Bud Bundy from um Air Bud. Air Bud. The Air Bud. Dog that played basketball or something like that. Oh, that's, I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> Air Bud. Never heard of him. But anyway, CBD looks like high quality marijuana, feels like high quality marijuana, and tastes like high quality marijuana. Cause she is 100% hand trimmed, never machine trimmed. Each batch is slow cured for two to four weeks to guarantee maximum freshness and preserve flavor and cabinoids. Best of all, it's grown in the USA. Okay. I love CBD. It is great for my anxiety. Um, I, do enjoy smoking it I used to enjoy the creams But there is something About the oral fixation Of having something In your mouth And inhaling And then exhaling It just makes you feel Like a real grown up Okay But you can enjoy All the health benefits Of CBD Without getting high Alright Under 0.3% THC It's cannabis That ships directly to you And it's legal In all 50 states Join the men and women Who are sick of vapes And gummies And want to smoke Their CBD Go to CushyDreams.com To get some high quality CBD Bud Bundy At checkout Use promo code Idiots for 20% Off your next order That's Cushy K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com Promo code Idiots for 20% Off your next order Cushy Dreams Smoke your CBD Alright Today's episode is also brought to you by Squarespace. Turn your dreams into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box right out of the box and there's nothing to patch your upgrade ever okay buying domains is simple and you'll get the help you need with squarespace's 24 7 award-winning customer support Squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot offer code idiot. Now back to the show. You got any church announcements, Schultz? Man, not yet. Oh, I had to re- I had to reschedule all uh, my remaining uh, stand up shows in 2020. So we're just gonna we're gonna do it all in 2021. You know, we're working okay. on a little something. It's taking a lot of time, so we can't hit the road. But 2021, we're gonna be <clears throat> back out there. You my- forgot. Uh-huh. You got one positively brilliant. What? The coming to America. For- oh, we, on might, Amazon? We, we might could do that in the deep dive. But listen, uh, my church announcement is simply uh, Black Effect Podcast Network. Yeah. Um, Steve Smith Sr. Cut to it. New episode with Michael Vick this week. Um, Fire. All the smoke. Uh, I don't know who all the smoke has on this week. Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. I was on the last episode, though. Oh, how uh, was of it? all the smoke. Man, I love that show, man. Yeah. Man, Matt and Steven are so fucking good, bro. Where do they do that out of? I don't know where they do it normally, but they did it in New York. They had to set in New York when I when I went to go do it. They was here uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. You know, when I was thinking of a uh, flagrant two, um, I tried to get a Stephen uh, Stephen Jackson. Mm. Yeah, I spoke to him a little originally because flagrant flagrant two was originally just pot like a sports sports pod, podcast, and now it's just comedy. But uh, it's it was, a lane for that though. No, that there was there was there was lane, and I, we were talking a little bit, but it's hard to like. Get NBA guys to commit to something, you know. I mean, the NBA is really like a cult. Like yeah. they like. And by the way, when you're around NBA players, you really feel like you shouldn't be there. Really? I don't. Why? I mean, I'm, why? I'm five six. Yeah. Like it just you feel stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just feels dumb. Do they like, feel superhuman? Yes. For real. Nobody's supposed to be that tall unless you're in the NBA. Yeah. When I see people that are that tall yeah. and they're not in the NBA, I'm yeah. like you. Like, like you really just what wasted waste. your life. God made you yes. for the NBA. That's how I feel about white homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> just, just you As Paul Mooney said, a waste of good white skin. You waste of white yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a waste, waste. of good, just a waste of height. That's why tall security guards get disrespected so much. Why? They're not disrespecting <laughs> you because they just don't respect you. They're disrespecting you because they're somebody. like, you should have been in the fucking NBA, bro. <laughs> you should have you six fucking seven and you yeah. do security? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Tell me you played college ball and you blew your knee out of something, bro. Did you at least try? Did you fucking try? I think that's why I didn't respect my ex because he was like 6'4 and he was in the NBA. And I'm like, 6'4, 6'4, not NBA. Come on. No, he was real tall. Like, he looked like a basketball player, but he. But you're 5'2. Yeah. So 6'4 so so looks different to you. 6'4 ain't really NBA. I promise you, he was tall. Yeah, but 6'4 like, is not he was guaranteed NBA. Nah. 6'8, 6'9. 
If you're over six seven, whoa, you have to try. You gotta try, bro. If you're seven foot and you're not in the NBA, you should be shot. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there for you to do? Son, there's nothing else to do. I'm not you even can joking. Make millions of dollars a year right in the bench. What else is there for you to do at seven feet tall? <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I don't want your dumb ass around me. Get the fuck around me, tall motherfucker. Tall. How about you? My passion is art. Oh, please. What? How tall am I? Yeah. Six two. Oh. Two inches shorter than your boyfriend, probably in all areas. I'm, try I'm trying not to use. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to use the. I'm trying not to use the n word, but you really do have to be like you tall for nothing, ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. But Black Effect Podcast Network, uh, Nina Turner, we launched Nina Gangster Turner. Hello, Chronicles somebody. This Thursday. Gangster Chronicles is launching this Thursday. Wait, with is that, uh, uh, who? Who's Gangster Chronicles? Gangster Chronicles is my guys from the West Coast, MC8, uh, my man Steel and my man Mob James. And they, um, I feel like the West Coast is so underrepresented when it comes podcast, to hip hop podcasts. Yeah. But what about. Um, Glasses Malone? Yeah, what about Glasses? Glasses is coming. Glasses coming in December. No ceilings. Okay. We got rollouts, baby. Yo, oh, my bad. My bad. We got no, rollouts. It's, 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 it's a real business over here. But Glasses Pod? Amazing. I'm gonna listen Amazing. to that podcast. Glass is, Glass man, is one of the most interesting people <laughs> without without even trying will ever Anything talk to man. Most people agree with he. I think I relate to him on that level. Like <laughs> literally, we, it's like natural a kid, contrarian kindred spirits. Me and that guy, man. But here's the difference. He's a he's both of y'all are natural contrarians. But we'll research it. We'll look it up. It'll, I'm we'll not gonna say all that, but it'll make you think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'll make you. It'll make you at least think. It's not right. like just some. I'm disagreeing to disagree. Right. Right. That's right. That's how right. that glasses is. He and it's and he's he's been like that since I've known him. Yeah. I met glasses. I've known glasses for like shit. Since like 13, 14 years yeah, now. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he's yeah. he's like that. Glass type of person will call you yeah. and say some shit and you'd be like, hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> like, so yes, Glasses Podcast is uh, no ceilings is gonna drop in December, but Gangster Chronicles comes out um this this Thursday with MC eight, uh Mob James and my man Steel. So who else we got? Tesla Figaro. She's got a new episode out. I love Tez because Tez is another person that's not afraid to step across the aisle and talk to people mm -hmm. that, you know, may not share her ideologies or political views. Mm -hmm. And that makes for great entertainment. Ebony launches on the twenty first with holding court. Oh, and Ebony's gonna be on uh Real Housewives, Real Housewives of New with York. With Leah. Shout out to Leah McSweeney. Leah! Shout out to Leah. So she's on that show. Now Ebony's going to be on it. Damn, so now I got to watch, huh? We got to watch. <laughs> we got the I didn't know Leah was on there. it. Leah, I knew Leah's on it? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know Leah was on it. I'm tripping. I just want to watch to see if people try Ebony because she's not one. I don't want to see that, bro. Tried? I don't want to really? see that. She's so not one I don't want to see that. No. She's so sweet, though. Yeah, I'm yeah, not that. Like, yeah, I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling you right now. Whoever's on that show... Ebony's right. <laughs> Just always remember that, okay? Remember that Charlemagne said Ebony is right. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what happens on that show. I'm riding with Ebony K. Williams, okay? So it's been successful. What? To say the least. What? The Black Effect, a Black Effect podcast <laughs> network so far. <laughs> To say, the, to say the least, if we can, you know what I mean, do a little bragging. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to do it, I'll do it. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> We're doing fine. <laughs> you asshole. We're doing fine. You know what I mean? You, you, you may read some numbers to you. Nah, I mean, if we want to read some numbers, you know what I mean? I mean? Since you asked, I mean, you did bring it up. I mean, yeah, if you want to just tell us what's you going on. Face you make when, why are you making like you have glasses on your We just had this right call now. Friday. Let me see. I just, I mean, it's just a quick little... Nothing crazy. I'm just going to read. It's just a quick little bullet point. Let me see if I can find it. Um, what is it about? Uh, you know, Black Effect Podcast Network, 51% black owned. 100% <clears throat> black staffed. 100% black creators. 75% of the revenue flows through to black creators and business owners. Ooh. So, you know, for me, I think that's successful. Wow. You know what I'm saying? To me, I, I consider that a success. And the reason I consider that a success is because I think that is the model a lot of corporations and companies should embrace. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like companies and, and, and corporations should embrace launching these other verticals. Right. You know, with, you know, black people. And now you can really say you're giving back to the black community in a real way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because because you're partnering with them, but you're not uh, owning them. It's majority black owned. It's 100% yeah. black staffed, 100% black creators, and 75% of the revenue going to all the black creators and owners and partners on the network. Like, mm. hey, man, God is good. That's all I can say. And, I, and I'm just going to keep putting out good content and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. That's all. 
Mm-hmm. Now, what did we say the deep dive was going to be? America. Oh, my God. Speaking of people uh, taking their destiny in their own hands, mm-hmm. this is the new model, by the way. Okay. Coming to America 2, the sequel, Paramount had it. I think they shot it for like $28, $30 million. Okay. They sold it to Amazon Studios for $125 million. Nice flip. Coming out on streaming services December 18th on nice Amazon. Nice flip. And I, and I read something yesterday where it's like these two uh, ad integration pieces that they're going to put into it with McDonald's and Crown Royal, which is so on brand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Eddie has to approve them. So that's just more money. Right. This is this is the future. Yeah. Like, what's what's the point of going to the movie theater? Yeah, I think the movies are done, bro. I, I'd rather I, be home. I'd, I'd rather, rather be, home be home in my basketball shorts, mm-hmm. my fuck Ugg house, my, my Ugg house slippers, mm-hmm. laying on the couch, high, drinking a little wine. Yo, what do you think about this for Amazon specifically? They, this idea might exist. I don't know if it mm-hmm. does, but I'm just throwing it out there. You're watching a movie, right? Eddie Murphy is in the scene with Arsenio Hall. Eddie Murphy has got on a blazer that's fire. And you're like, yo, what the fuck blazer is this? You can pause the movie, put your cursor on the blazer, and Amazon will tell you where to buy that blazer. That's too much. Talk I can see that happening. But wouldn't that not be fire? Sneakers, all these other things. And then furthermore, what if you're also watching news? I guess Amazon's mostly like retail stuff. But like, it'd be cool if you're watching news and it's like talking about some story, I don't know, uh, Lebanon or something like that. And then within the news, it links you to a bunch of other stories that go deeper on Lebanon. Like, I'm just thinking about how you can mm. use these digital interfaces in a way to get information or get <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, products to <clears throat> people. Did y'all ever play, You play, did you ever watch that Netflix show, um, The Black Mirror Joint that was like the Choose Your Own Adventure shit? Yeah, I've seen it. No, I didn't see the... Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit of it. That shit tired. was incredible. Oh, no, we, we we watched that shit on, we played In that Anguilla, shit. right? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. We, we did that shit for days. <laughs> like, really? Like, yeah, because there's so many different you scenarios. every option? Every fucking option. And even went online to find, like, the little codes to see, like, different endings and shit like that. Like, uh-huh. everything. Like, we, me, Van, my wife, Rachel, Dolly. Like, we went through the whole shit, like, a million times. But, yeah, that could work. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be watching Coming to America, see some shit. But what would, what would make us know to to click on it? We you would just see something we like. You know, like you see Go Out. Because right now on Amazon, if you pause it, it shows all the names of the characters that are on the screen. Oh yeah, it shows right the actors. Oh, wow, 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 wow. See other stuff that they're in. Wow, yeah. that's the future, bro. It's I'm over. Just saying, that'd it's be over. kind of fire. When else could we use that? Like how could or like they're even eating a sandwich? They're eating at a restaurant. You see like a dish, and obviously the dish in the movie might not be the thing from the restaurant, but it'd be cool if you go. Oh wait, where is that? And then you could actually find where that is, see if they deliver, and then get that shit delivered right to your house. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how these streaming services make money, though. That's what I, that's what I, I, I monthly uh, subscription, yeah. dog. Think about it, ten dollars a month. Oh, so you subscribe just to get watch coming to America? I mean, Amazon. They make all their money on Amazon Web Services. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the cloud. Yeah. So what they're able to do is lose money on every other part of their business mm-hmm. and just continue to grow market share. That's why they don't pay no taxes because technically they're not making money yeah. because they just write off the losses across their other businesses. Would you do a um, one-off if you were Amazon? Would you make it to where you can, even if you don't have a subscription, you can go on Amazon.com and purchase Coming to America? Yeah, to you watch? can do that. You, you can do, do that? that. I, okay. I actually, I don't know if they'll allow you to do yeah. that. They are going to, but I know I've done that with movies all the time. If some shit's not on Netflix, I watch it through Amazon. I wonder if Eddie gets uh, back into has like to, a, right? a piece of every subscription. He would have to. Might. That's Eddie, bro. Eddie, that people like, don't realize why Eddie makes so much money. I mean, Eddie don't have to do shit. Eddie make much make, makes money off the donkey from Shrek, dude. The merchandise, probably, everything. I bet you he made more money off Shrek than he made off of all his other movie franchises. Possibly. Oh, easily. Possibly. Easily. I mean, that's Shrek. Like, yes, yeah, that's easily. different money, right? Like yes. that Disney money is different. You man. ain't seen Mike Myers since. Yeah, he quit. <laughs> Mike Myers is yeah, gone. Mike Myers true. don't do shit but live off Shrek money. <laughs> he does. You don't see Mike Myers do anything. He don't have to. Yo, can you look up how much Eddie made off of uh, Shrek? Or maybe Taylor, look it up. Eddie yeah. makes money off the that merchandise and, Austin, and everything. Austin Powers, right? Yeah, but Austin, Austin Powers didn't make, make money, money, money like Shrek. Nah. Kids, dude. Nah. Kids is crazy. <laughs> The one thing that's tricky, though, think about it like this. Kids 
Huh? Back in the day, when there was a movie that you would go watch, you have to take your kids to the movie. So for every ticket the kid buys, there's at least one other ticket purchased by the parent. Mm -hmm. So you're actually making double the amount of money. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way that's right. Now what is it saying up there? Three Murphy. million. Murphy is really uh, okay. Murphy, and who's really the anchor in this hilarious too, franchise, reportedly earned three hundred fifty thousand dollars for his work on the first film. Variety revealed that when all is said and done, Murphy brought in roughly three million thanks to his shares of domestic. Oh, so that's sale. for the first movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he gets a percentage of the sales. Wow. So he gets money on the back end. Yeah, but we got to see if he's. Yeah, oh, my Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Murphy has been nominated for many what awards and incredible fuck? performances. The Nutty Professor, Dream Girls, Norbit. Eddie Murphy is a very successful comedian. As of 2020, Eddie Murphy's net worth is estimated $6.7 Get the fuck out billion. of here. Dollars. That's awake the greatness within dot com. I don't know if that's real. Type Mike Myers net worth then. There's no first of all, there's no way Eddie Murphy's worth is six point seven billion. Why? You think less? Yes. Six point yeah. seven billion? Yo, he's billion? he's in his fifties <laughs> and think about it. Think about this. He's in his fifties and he's been making millions since he was eighteen. Bro, Mike Myers net worth what? is two hundred million. That was a he was 18 when he was doing his stand up. I think SNL he was what, 18, oh, 20 okay. or something like that? Oh, yeah, I was with Puff God. this week and Puff said Puff was like I, I was talking to him about uh, Forbes or some shit, and he was like, I, "I'm priceless." He's like, I refuse to be on any of those fucking magazines until they give me the priceless issue. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, you don't put no number next to me." That's funny. But what is he worth? <laughs> Let's Five see. Two hundred million. What is Sean Combs' net worth? Yo, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is how men gossip. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Y'all look at who got like eight hundred and eighty-five million. million. Gossip. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of million, bro. Eight hundred and eighty-five million. It's a part of me. They used to say six. As stupid as this sounds, mm -hmm. if you show me that number and one billion, I might take the eight eighty-five. <laughs> 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 it just looks chunkier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for 885 just looks chunkier than 1 billion. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No. I know. <laughs> I am taking that one billion, bro. Give me that check. You only seen that because you see more numbers. That's what I'm saying. It just looked chunkier. Dude. You take the zeros out. Yeah, you got to see put all the zeros, zeros out. Yeah, you got to put the zeros out. You got to put the zeros out. But I don't care to make a billion dollars. Let me pull up Andrew's so net worth real quick. Let's see what Let's Andrew. Let's see what I got. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, Andrew done bossed up. Let me see what I got. Let's he, see. He was see two million in the guy code era. Let's, let's, see, what, let's see how accurate. Let's see what Schultz is. he had. What is this based off Ooh, of? Oh, he had three. Oh, he had three now? But what is this That's based off of? Because it's not like. I don't know what it's based who's, off. Who's making this? People also ask, does Netflix have Andrew Schultz? Hmm. Click on that. <laughs> Click on that real quick. Um, oh, wait, which one? Alex. I said people also ask, what is DJ Envy's work? Does Netflix have Andrew Schultz? Sorry, but there are currently no movies or TV. Why would they ask that? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, go to what nationality? <laughs> what nationality is Andrew Schultz? American. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. <laughs> God. How tall Yo, they say I am? Why is How tall they say I am? Look at them haters, bro. Oh, no. They got me. They Six got two. me. They got me. But this shit makes no sense. How is Netflix in debt? Why the fuck would is that on your shit? I don't know. I've probably been talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Who else we want to know about? You, man. Yes, Call it Charlotte. Like Yo, let's yeah. see Charlemagne, man. Yeah. Charlemagne Network. Network. Let's see what you got, bro. <laughs> 10 mil? Salary 3 mil? Is that what, what you get in the Breakfast Club? Movie? No. How much is Charlemagne's Network? How, who owns the Breakfast Club? How much is the Breakfast Club? That's not my salary. What is that? That's not your salary? Mm -mm. No? More or less? Hey, you know, who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares about those kind of things. All right? <laughs> My contract's up in December. Who cares about numbers? It's not about Have numbers. Have you not re-signed? Huh? Have you not re-signed? I don't know. We'll talk about it. Okay. We'll talk life, about it. Life, life, life oh, happens. and possibly bring for 85 South Show. Oh, yeah. We got to shout out 85 South Show. 85 man. South Show. What do my guys do? They're always brilliant, but what do they do? Aren't they hosting the uh, Essence Oh, Fest? yes. BET Hip Hop Awards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They hosting the BET Hip Hop Awards, man. <laughs> Yo, listen. Once again, it go goes back to the Coming to America conversation. It goes back to everything we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I love people who take their destiny in their own hands. You got to love And them. I cannot wait till the 85 South Show do a movie. And I pray that 
I got a hand in it when it happened. Mm. <laughs> not, Cause mm. those brothers right there, Carlos Miller, Chico Bean, and DC Young Fly, they just phenomenal and effortlessly phenomenal yep. and always have been. Yep. You know how you like Duval is effortlessly funny. Yep. Andrew Schultz is effortlessly funny. Those guys, they're effortlessly they're funny. Great, There's man. no, it's no turn on with them. Nah, you it's know just what I'm natural, it's organic, it's who they are. They're not trying to be nobody that they're not. Not no. And you know what's great about them is like they took an opportunity and they made something out of it. You're gonna get chances in life. You got chances. You know what I mean? I've you gave me a chance. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like, I hope that I've made something special out of it. They got a chance, obviously, with mm-hmm. Nick. And they made something massive out of it, you know? So yeah. it's like, a lot of people get opportunities and then they just go, well, who's, what's the next opportunity? Who's going to give me the next thing? Run with that shit you get. And then and then it's unity. It's unity and group operation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Right. Not a lot of ego there. So, hey, man. <laughs> Beloved. Yeah. We're shaking, beloved. I'm, si- hey. I'm, si- I'm sitting there doing the podcast with Andrew. That's why I answered. You ain't talked to Andrew Schultz in a minute. Yo, Tex, what up, man? Andrew, what up, fucking white people? Yo, <laughs> that's fucked up. I've been sending you nudes. Hey, Andrew, what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, beloved? We sitting there doing the podcast, shooting the shit. Plug that in. It's going to go. You can hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh shit! So you can hear me in the mic and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. All right, this is this Tax Tone? Tax Tone. Uh, tax Tone. Say hi to the people. You are plugged in. You are on Brilliant Idiots right now. How you been, man? Who's the new girlfriend, man? Oh Who's man, I got a I got a girl, man. It's pretty serious, dude. It's pretty serious. Wait, I might I might Nigeria? have to I might have to lock it down for a <laughs> lifetime. She's from Nigeria. She's from Nigeria, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So proud of you, man. I, I took over the land and just pulverized it for all the natural resources for you to just go back and give back to the Nigerian community. I'm pretty sure we're happy. Like, hey, bro, you know what I'm about, Niger. You know, and SARS. Shut the. Fuck. <laughs> How you been, Andrew? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. You know what I mean. I'm just trying to avoid the bookings. Avoid what the bookings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tax, what you see this week that interests you, bro? What'd you say? What, what you I see this week that interests me? Yeah. I ain't see shit that interests me this week, man. This shit is a whole bunch of bullshit. The Supreme Court is a whole bunch of bullshit. It's like, who gives a fuck about the Supreme Court? Is Supreme gonna put out a new collection at this point? <laughs> it's like, this shit is boring. This whole country is just going up in the flames. Thinking about just moving to Russia. <laughs> you you're going to Russia, dude? Why Russia? Listen, Vladimir said he already got the kill. I don't know why we neglecting this man. He did He's say only the, lied a couple thousand times. The president's lied way more than that. Russia definitely said they got the vaccine already, and it's ready for international use. And it's it's ready. They got come on. We use Russian vodka. Why we can't use their their medicine? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad point. We need to give. I think we need to give Vladimir a, a chance before we give Trump a chance with his vaccination. Vlad, he's been kind of quiet, hasn't he? He's been quiet lately, bro. I don't think he's trying to bring yeah, attention Vladimir to himself. Being quiet, he got all his hackers just getting busy right now. He's Put got mad proud boy propaganda out on, on Twitter land and shit. Hey, are there some proud boys in jail? The Proud Boys. Yeah, it's, it's one Proud Boy in my house right now. He Muslim. What? <laughs> yeah, a white Muslim, white Muslim neo Nazi. You know you got to, you know you got to turn Muslim for protection in jail. So he's like a, um, he got like neo Nazi tattoos, but he Muslim. Really? I thought you turned Muslim for the food. There's not that many white people on, like on Rikers Island, so you know, like maybe like if he go to another state, then he'll be all right. He can go back to his natural habitat. You know what I mean? They could talk about the coal mines and stuff like that. But, you know, ain't no coal mines in New York City. So he don't got nobody to talk to him. So he ended up taking his shahada, turn a Muslim for protection. The Muslims take anybody in New York. You can be a rapist, child molester. They'll just snatch you right on up. Just put on a kufi and you're safe. Well, that's the whole point of the Muslim faith, though, right? Like, they're supposed to take the worst of people and turn them into the best of people. So that makes sense. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. But in New York, it's just a, it's just a kufi. 
That's it, Kofi. They, as soon as they leave, they take the Kofi off. They go right back to look searching for child porn on the deep web. <laughs> Who's the strongest in the jails now? Like is the Bloods, the Crips, the Muslims? What is it? What you said? What's the what? Who's the strongest out of like in the in the jails now? Well, in New York City, it's always like the Bloods, but like even the Bloods are like crackheads too. You know what I mean? It's like crackhead Bloods. You got crackhead Crips in here. You know what I mean? Like everybody's on crack, you know what I mean? They hear like motherfuckers is on all kinds of exotic drugs, you know what I mean? Everybody's stressed out, people, parents dying from corona, you know what I mean? Like nobody knows when they're getting out because the court system is just shut down. Everybody just being held up on their cases. So people in here is like really stressed out right now. Damn. And they don't, I bet you they don't have y'all doing no type of mental health, you know, uh, uh, therapy or nothing. I've been trying to see mental health for a couple of months now because I don't even know if I need to see them, but I'm like, maybe I, I need to talk to somebody because I don't talk to people in here. So what I realized a minute ago when I started podcasting that that was my therapy, me talking to people, like just getting shit out that I was keeping inside, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, one, so, of, your, one of your best episodes to me was when you had that therapist on. I can't remember the young lady's name. Oh, yeah, uh, Maya Pettiford. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, she was a, a great therapist. Yeah, she kind of made me like therapy after that because, like, speaking to her about certain things made me want to speak more. That's why I've been trying to see it, like, trying to see mental health since I got here. Like, no one cares. Like, it's just like, okay, yeah, we'll put you on the list. And then you'd be like, yo, when's the, like, set date? Like, I just asked recently. I think they said that the next date for me was, like, December 20th. I was like, well, by that time, I might just decide to kill myself. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, do y'all even care? Damn, I mean, they should take those type of, uh, they should take those type of, of uh, what's the word? Threats? Not, I don't want to call it a threat, request. Yeah, they should take those type of requests serious. You know what it is, is that what I've realized is that I didn't really realize how, how crazy mental health was until I like listened to you, and then I've seen the people that's in here. Mental health is definitely a serious issue. Mm. Like, there's people in here that have a lot, a lot of problems, you know what I mean? And you really don't realize it. Like, it's people in here that talk to the wall. It's people in here that don't talk at all. It's a guy in here that, that just said that they indicted him for killing his family. He's like, yo, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I love my family. And you can tell that he's genuinely serious. Like, he's actually confused about what he's being charged for, you know what I mean? Mm. And just seeing that made me realize, like, yo, mental health is, like, literally a serious issue. They actually need more mental health doctors in than anything. The thing is, is that they be having maybe two, and then they get alternated to other buildings or rankers, so you only can see them on specific days. The programs need to be a little bit bigger here. Like, there's a lot of, like, bullshit that goes on on Rikers Island. Like, this place is, like, goofy. Like, the building I'm in right now in Manhattan, they talking about shutting it down, talking about the coronavirus spread. They supposed to pile us all up in three, four buildings. I said that shit don't make sense. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't it be smart to separate us than to keep us piled up on top of each other? You know what I mean? They don't give a shit though. But like, but DOC don't really um. They don't do. Ain't too much sense at the high offices at the Department of Corrections. You know what I mean? The sad, like, the sad part about it is, man, these these those those establishments should be correctional facilities. They should be places where people actually go and. You know, become better versions of themselves. Mm. So, so, so mental health requests should be granted. You know mm. what I mean? They should have physical fitness in the gyms. They should be getting y'all diet right. Like, why I put you in an environment that's just gonna make you crazier? Mm. You, you know what's the saddest thing about it? The people that actually really want to correct themselves in there. It's a large amount. They really want to go home and do right, and they want to get jobs. They want to learn trades. They want to change everything about themselves. The thing is, is that it's really no business. They don't have any programs. You get let out of jail. As soon as you get let out, you, you're trying to do the right thing for a little while, but then something that might interest you, you can't get hired there because it's a part of the law that they don't have to hire a felon. That's mm. a part of prison reform that people need to take more serious that they should allow these Fortune 500 companies to hire felons and get them through training in jail, get them the proper training, and then when they come home, put them through like a probation period that if you do correctly for a year straight, then you can earn the same pay that the person who went to college did because some of these people are highly intelligent. They just were in bad financial situations. Like, I know you remember that Jay-Z ball where he said, we doing crime because we not doing fine. That's right. 95% of the people in there, mm. they not doing crime because they just want to be doing dumb shit. They doing crime because they, they're fucked up. You know what I mean? 
Damn, yeah, man. That's the, one of the biggest part of prisons reform that people need to look at is like really actually giving pro. Why, why wouldn't these companies, if they gave them some type of tax break to hire these felons, they would do it. Everything is the bottom line for these country, these companies. So if they mm-hmm. give them some type of tax break to take 300 felons, they got trained on how to do a specific job to come home and work for them, and then they do a probational period for a year and a half, however long it is, and they don't get paid as much as the person who actually went to school for it, and then after the probation period is done, they actually get that amount that they deserve. They should do that because I'm telling you, the majority of people will actually do it. They just don't know any route. They don't know anything else but what they know. Nobody's putting the education in their face. They come in and drop books on people and leave and say that they did something right. But if nobody's there to actually tell these people what these books are for, what they could learn from this book, what they could do to change their neighborhood, what they could do to open a business, they're not going to read it. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, and a lot of things is a lot of the 40 year olds in here, they act just like the 19 year olds. So it's hard to tell them apart. You know what I mean? So it's just like I said, if they don't have the correct services in here to like change, they don't really care about change. They need the rate of recidivism to be high so people can come back and and keep the fucking prison system going. You know, it's people that are sitting in their country homes right now, they're sitting in Martha's Vineyard that's getting paid for me being on Rikers Island. So, you know, they need they need people here. Rikers Rikers is a private prison? Hmm. What would you say? It's, no, a pro- it's, a, um, it's a um city prison. Okay. It's a city prison, but it's like funded by the feds. It's like weird shit, you know what I mean? But like, you know, the commissioner and like the people who really run the jails, they don't even they don't come here. They sit in their houses in, in Rhode Island, you know what I mean, and dictate what goes on down here. They hire a couple black people, give them like captain jobs and deputy jobs. They still don't run the show. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's just some white person that went to school and doesn't know anything about prison that just read something about criminal whatever in college, you know what I mean? Um, criminal behavior, that's it. Like, you know what I mean? Criminal behavior is based on the circumstances that you put people in. You know what I mean? If they put Andrew Schultz right now and they take everything from Andrew Schultz and, he has, and you give him an apartment in Brownsville, Andrew Schultz might be folk next week. You know what I mean? So Possibly. It's like... Our, yeah. our, our Brownsville could be gentrified. Yeah, you guys oh, might yeah. be drinking you know, oat milk you know lattes I mean? because he might have a he might have a certain amount of intellect where he know what to do to get other money. He could teach other people, but the thing is that in the community they don't know. Even if you if you go to school, public school in our neighborhood, they teach us the same things. They teach us in jail. When you go up north and um in the state, they teach you electricians. Um, plumbing, carpentry, which is good trades, but they teach the same thing in the schools in the neighborhood. So if you're teaching the prisoners the same thing, they, you're not teaching nobody how to own the company. You know, there's some people that's not manual laborers, so they want to, they might be, you know, mentally strong where they could do other things and they're not getting a chance to do that. They're not giving us all the opportunities and different possibilities to do something different. You know what I mean? It's just, yo, these are your five things. You're going to, you're going to go rap. You're going to go be a comedian. You're going to go do this. Oh, it's over for you, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Or you're going to play ball, run up and down the court. You know what I mean? So, it's, it's not too many places to go for. So it's like, you know, it's like Big said, if you swing a crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot, it's like three more places you could go now because of the internet. Like, you know, maybe you could go be funny or something on Instagram and go get a check or something. But besides that, it's not too much besides entertainment. You know what I mean? It's not too many black academics. Look at the United States of America. We lack engineers. This country shouldn't lack engineers. This is why I ain't shit made in the U.S. no more. Because why the fuck should you have to pay that much to be an engineer? Y'all should be teaching engineering for free in this country. Now we got to go to India and China to go snatch foreign students up and to teach them. And then they come over here, get the education, learn everything, and they get back to their country. Now it's made in India and China. But you can it's teach a- some of these Negroes on Rikers Island how to be an engineer or, or upstate New York or wherever it might be. You know what I mean? But, but they don't, they don't, it, 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 there's no money. There's no money. There's, there's no money in rehabilitation. Exactly. They need the rate of recidivism to always be high. They need people to come back and forth to jail. So that's the issue. You know? Damn, yo. That was the best stay out of jail PSA I heard in a yeah, long motherfucking bro. time. I'm not going to jail, man. Yeah, I, I hear a lot about reform and I respect reform all the way. And another thing that I feel that they lack is like when they talk about violence, they act like people as violent can't change or 
people that's violent didn't end up in circumstances where they had to be violent. Sometimes violence has to be reciprocated so violence don't happen to you. You know what I mean? So a lot of times they be, they say non-violent offenders. I'd be like, yo, but what about the guy who they, they ran in his house in New York because New York don't even have laws for that. Somebody can run in your house in New York and you bust his head and you still going to jail for it. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't have the stand your ground law. They don't have stand your ground and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. They don't have. Like, they don't even have self defense. Thank you for your security. Goodbye. Yeah, that was taxed on. You know, I'll be feeling bad because it's just like, yeah, when you call, you know what I'm saying? It's like you want to pick up the phone. You might make a day, make make a person's day when they're in jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want to like make them laugh or that kind of shit. That gets all. You yeah, look a little depressed. Yeah. You look a little down. I was. I'm down, man. I was listening to that. You know, I'm not used to. I don't know. All my interactions with the tax before have just been like jokes and busting balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green juice recipes. And mm. Bought back memories for Taylor. Why? Oh, she used to pressing five for her men. Why do you want me what to happened? be like... What happened? I don't understand what, what kind of girl you're trying to make me be. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't what kind of girl you're trying to make me be. What do you mean? I was like, let me be poor. Like, I don't know what... <laughs> what what you, does that mean? What, 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 you, what kind of life So you, you never dated a guy in jail, Taylor? No. Wow. I have a father, sir. Like a very... <laughs> what does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> As in... Oh, what you get that another mean? call. What does that mean now? As in, like, my father raised me very well. Like, has successful business, all that. Like, why do you not think that I so would So if your dad most- wasn't there, you would date guys that go to no, jail? No, I'm not saying that either. That's not for anyone that doesn't have a father. Now. I'm just saying, like... You I'm already not- shitting on all the fatherless no, women. Don't you backtrack did, now. Bro. You did, <laughs> okay. Taylor. Okay. No, I didn't. I'm yeah. just saying, for me, having a two-parent household, I feel like that helped. With now, my, so you you believe that you uphold all the stereotypes of a girl that did a have black an active woman as that, a black woman, yeah, that did have an active father in life. Now, some might say that girls without a father are extremely skilled in the uh, bedroom, if you will. <gasps> so, does that mean I didn't say that? No, but does, it, <laughs> but does that mean that that you may lack that because no. of your strong relationship <gasps> with your father? No. That, I'm just saying some say that. That has been said. On It's been said. Who said that? It's been said. <laughs> said People have been, you know, said that. I will say one of the biggest fears, though, is like you can be a great father and raise your daughters, yeah. you know, A1, and then they'll still be pressing that's five for somebody too. in the that's future. Too, that's like, Yeah, but that's a thing. You got to, that's really rough. That's a, that's a rough thing. But I'm going to be there for my daughters because I don't want them. You going to have some? Yeah, if I have some daughters, that'd be Ooh, awesome. I'd love to have You hitting it wrong? Well, I, you know, I mean, sometimes, <laughs> you know. If you, don't wear a mask, if you don't wear a mask, why would you wear a condom? Exactly. I'm out here not wearing a mask, but rubbering up. Oh, you know what I mean? Shoot or shoot, Shoot or shoot, baby. You know? Shoot or shoot. Usually on the belly, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got any more ads? Uh, no. Okay, let's do some uh, shit you won't care about next week. All let's right, go. what are we not caring about? Shoot him, week? shoot him, Taylor. Um, let's go. Shoot his to- shoot, Taylor. Shoot. Let's go, Taylor. Okay, so um, back on like if you want to talk about the politics with Trump, um, that don't having- say nothing about no Trump right there. That says LAPD. Investig- I mean, oh, okay. We're going by this. LAPD investigating Dr. Dre's estranged wife yeah. for alleged embezzlement. City boys, we up. Let's go. Hey! City boys, we up. Stop stealing money. <laughs> Stop stealing our money. Okay? You steal our money. You get the clink. Somebody asked a question. So Envy asked me that this morning. Envy said, so if your wife goes into your account, is that stealing? Yep. If we're getting a divorce... Yeah. Yes, it is. If we're together, it's not. It's that's not. our money. But if you want to leave me, that's my money. If, the, if you want to leave me, that's stealing. Mm hmm. So. Thieving ass. To let the police do their job. Yeah. Investigate. Investigate the hell out of her. All right. Let me see. Kanye looks to be following the steps of a certain someone who often tweets out incorrect information. Oh, please stop. This. The rapper and presidential nominee tweeted out incorrect presidential election results from Kentucky where he did make it. On to the ballot. Come on, come on, come on. It's clown so shit. I'm not. I'm, I just think. I just think at this point, it's clown shit. What Kanye is doing? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't understand your angle. Like I really don't get it. 
We're like, not taking him seriously. Yeah, it's corny though, it, it, and it's whack because he doesn't even realize the damage that he's potentially doing. Like, if he was really serious about running for president, mm-hmm. hey, do your thing. But it's all ego, man. He's doing mm-hmm. that shit just because it, it it garners him attention. And what he posted wasn't even real. He said he got nineteen percent of the vote in Kentucky. Come on, it's Kentucky. like stop. Uh, Kenneth Walker on CBS this morning. I thought that was good. Um, I, I I really liked what he said when he said. Um, he said, uh, I'm a million percent sure that nobody identified themselves. He's a licensed gun owner. Well, he do. Um, he was on Gail King and Gail King was like, I didn't know. He said, I didn't know it was the police. He said, I grabbed the gun, didn't have a clue. He said, if, it, if I was the police at the door and they said, where the police? Me or Brianna didn't have a reason at all not to open the door to see what they wanted. He was like, why would I think it was the police? He said, why would the police be coming to my house? Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is true. They didn't find, they didn't know guns, no drugs. Can have never even been to jail. That was his first time ever even being arrested. So it's like, he was like, why would the police be coming here? Yeah. So I, I, I don't understand why we're acting like anybody who respects their 2A rights would not have done the same exact thing if they were in Kenneth Walker. That's why position. you have the 2A. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, Tory Lane's court hearings. Oh, we, did we talk about Tory being officially charged? Nah. Yeah, he got officially charged. What did they charge him with? Oh, apologies. I don't even know. But th- what did he get? Like, is it juvenile or is it? I don't know. Gonna... <laughs> first of all, first of all, is he tall enough years. to go to jail? First of all, can yeah, we talk about? Can we talk about this paragraph, Taylor? Okay. Wrote. I didn't write Inside the court. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. are exclusive from the morning. Okay. We were there when the judge allowed him to push back his arraignment to November 18th. The same day, Megan the Stallion is said to release her Fashion Nova line. Is that true? That's what it said in the paragraph. I just <laughs> Where did you this, read that? This thing called Topic Post, and they sent me the emails about like trending topics. And they that's it. real? First of all, that's a coincidence. That's the judge picks the date. The judge is not involved in Tory Lanez and Megan The Stallion shenanigans. I did feel like it was. Uh, I loved. I loved how Megan uh, dropped her op ed about protecting black women on the same day of Tory Lanez hearing. Mm-hmm. I thought that was good. Synergy. We call that, it that, synergy. That's, in I the thought business. it was good. I thought it was good. The judge also ordered Tory to stay away from Megan The Stallion, approving a protective order request made by the DA. Hey man, I don't know what to say in that situation no more. You know mm-hmm. what? I, I mean, I never knew what to say to begin with. Yeah, we just got to wait and see, man. Uh, Tory fans lean says something. You say yeah. what? I mean, Tory's been operating as you if love Tory Lane. I, Tory Lane? I absolutely don't. You do. I think he's a talented, don't get me wrong, I think he's talented as an artist or whatever. Yeah. But no, you're not going to shoot my, my girl Megan and think that I'm not going to ride for her. That's all. Cardi B nudes leaked. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think about them Ario I, Lala? I didn't see him. You didn't see him? Wait, mm-hmm. you did you want to make a comment? What you said? Would you like to Breakfast see him? Club? What did I say? When on Cardi B's birthday, you're like, how come we don't get as mad with the celebrities? I think we spoke about it. Oh no, did we no, not? No. Oh no, no, no. I was just talking about like um, you know, Cardi had a party. Big party. And I'm like, yo, okay. Trump has his rallies, Lakers have their celebrations, mm-hmm. Cardi has their parties. People make, you know, Excuses for when they want to gather. <laughs> Only Republicans can get Corona, bro. You know that for a fact. It does seem that way, though. I mean, that's how the news <laughs> portrays it. You can only get Corona if you're a Republican, man. What you about to pull up? I think you're about to pull out the nude leak. Here's the thing: people oh, are fun. are making fun of her areola. I'm trying to figure out how you leak a nude. I mean, she posted she herself did it by accident. Yeah. How though? She said she was like showing offset something, and then she put po- like. She posted it. Posted I don't believe in that. I think she just. I think she. But doesn't have. A, doesn't she have an OnlyFans? So what's her OnlyFans show then? Oh, she has OnlyFans. Yeah. I, hmm. I, I, I don't know. What else we got? Anything else? I um, can't say I care about any of this this week. <laughs> I mean, the areola was impressive. You got to see it. It covers almost the entire. What do you guys breast. think about the Megan The Stallion, SNL? Well, not SNL on Times talking about. It. I didn't read the whole thing. I mean, from what I heard, I thought it was good. Like, I, I mean, she said, I'm not afraid of criticism and protect black women shouldn't be controversial. I don't think it is. I don't think protecting black women is is controversial. Who's pushing back against that? Who's yeah. saying, no, let's not protect black women? I think um, I, w- I do wonder what the narrative has to be in order for us to change that, though. Like, w- like when will black women feel respected? When will they feel protected? And who are they? looking to respect and protect them. You know what I mean? Because if they're looking for this 
society, if they're looking for this government, that's probably never going to happen. But if they're looking for it amongst each other, you know, I mean, amongst ourselves as black people, yes, definitely. You know, I, yeah. I think we all can do a, a better job of supporting Who's each other. Who's disrespecting but, black women more, the society or government or like society. rappers? Both. Both. The reason I say both is because it's a lot of learned behavior. You know what I'm saying? Not even just mm. not even just black women, just women in general. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, America is a crappy place for women and has been historically. It's the best place on the planet <laughs> for women. Where else are women going to go? Is there it might be crappy compared to men? But compared to any other place in the world, yeah. But if you, I mean, I'm, I'm just talking about historically. You be from a, a woman anywhere I'm, else. I'm just talking about from an entertainment perspective. If you go back and you look, and it's, it's hip hop, it's rock and roll, it's movies, it's mm -hmm. porn. Like, <laughs> like women get disrespected. Not in lesbo porn. Shit. Lesbo <laughs> porn is all sensual. Licking depends on like depends that. on what the one of the lesbians are. <laughs> have you seen some lesbo porn that I have not seen? Man, Google nut ass lesbo porn, Taylor, <laughs> and watch what you see. You gonna see women spitting in each other's mouths. Love it. It's, it, it, it. Love it. I'm just saying, America's been a rough place for women, man. I get it. I understand it. You know? I mean, that's true. It has been. The world has been rough for women. Yeah. I think the, the world has the been world, rough for women. Like, yeah. you know, God gave yeah. you a trickier thing. Not even the world. Men are tough. Nah, God gave y'all periods, yo. God gave you the responsibility of having babies. Like God put you no, in a position. Men are it's tough really women. tough. Men, men are, are tough on us. Men are tough on women. We are. But we're tough on you, but we're also very protective. Like, we're also very loving. We're also very considerate. Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Me. Andrew Schultz is out here being considerate to the motherfucker. I'm not saying all men. I'm not saying all men, but for the majority wise, like it's a uh, contradicting for the most part. On right. both ends though. Obviously. Right. What do you mean? But it's kind of thing on like what women one from a man too though like we don't want I two different listen. kind of women though I'm saying, you got a black no. woman and a white woman seriously what is the what open. is the essential thing y'all want from a man if y'all had to pick one thing essential think about the year we're in now this is essential 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 the need that one not that one thing you need from to have a, a functioning relationship yes seven three quarters um, eight in the summer <laughs> consideration and respect consideration and respect what about you Paige I was gonna say about trust and love Trust and love. Was, I mean, by the way, consideration, respect, trust, and love are should be so easy for a man to give a woman. How, what men are not doing that, man? Fellas, y'all need to step because it up. Because they have- um, That's bare minimum. But they have insecurities, though. Well, you know stop I mean? being ugly all the time. No, I'm just joking. And that's the problem. <laughs> you said what? You said a lot of don't know what they want, and that's the problem. But those, that's the bare minimum, though. You uh, Pay said a lot of women don't know what they want, but trust, what'd you say? Respect, respect love- Consideration. consideration. What is consideration? Consistent. Define consideration. When I'm not saying consideration, I'm talking about like I'm a working woman and consider like I have other time than just trying to like cater to you. Yeah. And I've dealt with men that just think that yeah. because I'm a woman, I'm just supposed to cater and forget my job. And yes. They're here, and I should just be. But happy you probably disrespectful. You probably like, yo, if you step your game up and make more money, I wouldn't have to work, oh, and then I can be I home. I can see you doing some disrespectful Why? shit like that. I can see you doing some disrespectful shit like that, Taylor. I have told a guy that he's not ambitious enough. He's not ambitious. He enough. wasn't. He's not. Ambitious. He's, he's not ambitious support. enough. Why would you want him to be more ambitious? <laughs> ambitious. Oh, ambitious. <laughs> Okay. Right. So, 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 what happened? How did you articulate that to him? I just literally said, it "Just like you're not ambitious enough." Why? We were what? just having conversation, and like I just felt like I saw potential in him, and he just wasn't like Going he for just. It? All he wanted you to do was down cloud his download his mixtape on SoundCloud. That's not what you he had the nerve to doing. tell him he's not ambitious. <laughs> Who is this? That is all he wanted you to do is share it. it was one time could you yeah, tweet it out man. for me, <laughs> and you tell him he's not ambitious? That is so. Fuck That's foul. Up. That's really foul. Was he from Philly? No, he's from New York. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. We're ambitious over here, yo. Okay. We're ambitious over here. But, I mean, he taught me a lot. What did he teach you? For the most part. What how to tight. disrespect a man, how to make him feel insecure. <laughs> it's when I first moved to New York. Uh -huh. So, I know about, the, like, the trains and stuff. So, he taught you shit that, that you could Google. Google Maps. Yeah, that is a good point though that you're asking. Like, ladies, what is it that y'all want? How can how can you feel 100 percent respected? But it's a respected? lie. It's not just a list. Why like, don't we start with one? Why don't we start with one? Love thing? should be the foundation. 
and trust should be the foundation. No, love. Why? I, you could respect love. is the foundation. Love, bro. love is encompassing of all those things. Trust. Respect. I could love it. No, no, no. No, nope. I think it should be trust because I could love you. You ain't never but really been. I'm love. not gonna. You never really be been faithful? in love, Taylor. Why? Why you say that? You've never. I mean, trust look, your I'm uncle. Not even say You've that. never really I been in love. He, why do you think that? Because I dump guys easily. Yes. Mm-hmm. Really? Do you still do you love any of those guys that you dumped? No. Exactly. Because when you really I love did? somebody, you never stop no, no, loving no, them. No, no, I have no, more no. self worth than you what the more, fuck. Exactly. Your worth is that way. Stop. What happened? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to teach y'all how to listen to women, bro. This is how you listen to them. They say shit. You take a couple words and, and you tell them say, what they should be and thinking. And you do it. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Repeat yeah, what yeah. they no, say. I know more of my self worth. So why would if they're disrespecting me? Why would I keep ever keep? I love but you never you loved them, them, and they never That's loved it. you. I'm telling you, when you really love somebody, you I don't think you ever stop loving them. That's not true. I don't believe that. That's not true. I don't think it's real love then. Bro, that's not true. I I done stopped loving these chicks, man. I have loved them. I've stopped loving girls before. Yes. By the way, how could you ever, how could you ever really have love and respect for a woman when you a kid who's impressionable as shit listening to Snoop Dogg say Mm -hmm. but I don't love these hoes I don't love these hoes man but that was one thing I've always disagreed with Snoop Dogg about from the (laughs) beginning I've always loved him I've always loved Loved him dude yeah I've always loved him it was odd to me you hear what I'm saying though there's a difference between love and in love you can always have love for someone yo you know what's weird about Snoop Dogg you got me squinting to hear you yo yo yo, Charlotte you know what's weird about Snoop Dogg Mm -hmm. that first album right Doggy style. <laughs> Doggy style, right? He said, he was talking about we don't love these hoes, right? But if you look at the album art, the girls are kind of shaped like wieners. Huh? Look at the album nah, art. Nah, it was just dogs with fat asses. You can't, but the, what type of dogs were they? Wiener yeah. dogs. You can't say we don't love these hoes and have all the girls look like wieners. That's a little sus. That's a little suspicious. <laughs> Bring it up. Bring up that album art. I never thought about it. Mm-hmm. We might have to do some snooping <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> okay, we might have to do some see. snooping. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg album doggy art. style album art. Look at all this. Yo, Watch. how the fuck you spell dog wrong, Alex? I'm typing. <laughs> Look at this. Look nah, at this. It's one girl. It's a That's girl. A it's a dog with a fat dog. ass. Now you don't know if there's a guy or a girl, bro. Hey, man. Let, let let people be progressive. I mean, Snoop right? Dogg doggy style. What? No man has a leg like that, though. I see a nice doggy ass. That is a nice doggy That's ass. That's a nice doggy ass. That look like that goddamn sheep on Instagram. Yeah. You seen that fat ass sheep on Instagram? Yeah, that sheep man. got a dump. I want to know who the dog catcher was after. Yo, I just noticed that his dog's on the roof. Scrolling that picture? It's like Shit. three dogs on the roof. What are they saying? I don't know. T- like, tap the picture? Like, you don't see the dogs up there? Yeah, then they're on top of the thing. What are they saying? Fucking perverts. Yeah, they're watching, bro. Dude, these album titles, these album covers were problematic back in the day, man. I mean, everything was problematic back in the day. It wasn't good if it wasn't problematic. Oh, they had that? And I wouldn't change it for the world. Neither would I. (laughs) I want to bring it back. I don't feel... Now, listen, by the way, if I ever knew that we would have gotten to this point, I would have got a lot of other shit off back then. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's a good ass point. It's a lot of words I didn't use. You didn't use them enough. (laughs) We had time to use them, and we didn't take advantage. And now we can barely say anything. I don't want to. Okay. Now I don't even want to. I can't even say Latinx. <laughs> what? <laughs> Latinx? What Latin is it? X, man. Latin X, man. What, what else? What's Taylor? a Latin X, man, bro? <laughs> I'll tell you. That's that little Mexican girl is going to be Wolverine. <laughs> Latin X, man. We do need more diversity in Marvel. Yes, we do. So we I'm need here some for that. Latin yeah, X, man. In say what? Marvel? There is a Spanish. Yeah, why, but by the way, Marvel, all jokes aside, why isn't there a Latin X, man? The Mexican girl that's Wolverine. No, they should have like a they should have a Latin group of mutants that come together to be the Latin X Men. Okay, you know what and I'm then saying? What, yeah, I'm with you. Then what can they do? What are they really good at? They wear white. I'm, I mean, it's Latin Marvel superheroes now. It's not a lot of them. But, but like, what would their X Men powers be? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Taylor, what else we got? <laughs> yeah, ask an idiot. <laughs> Where would their? <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Never. No. Uh. How would you want humans to evolve? To read a little better than that. That was a tricky ass reading that you did right there, Taylor. I mean, it took you a while to get to those five words. Yeah. 
Oh, seven works. I like how humans are evolving now. I like to see humans evolve more mentally and emotionally and spiritually. I think that is the next evolution of um human being. Like I I just I was reading Deepak Chopra's book, uh Meta Human. <laughs> Gay <laughs> <laughs> already, <laughs> and, 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 and that's that's what he talks about. He talks about the next evolution of um right. human beings are going to be like meta. You know what I'm saying? It's all mental. It's all like there's a connection that's spiritual. Yeah, right, it's a right. cosmic consciousness that we're all tapping about into. That you think that we have that already? You think that like I think we're getting there. I think we're getting. No, I've heard you have that talks. Like, there's some co- sort of like collective conscious that we all can tap into. And oh yeah, absolutely. I feel. I mean, I feel that way now. I feel like I can literally tap into whatever I want to tap into into the universe mm-hmm. at any given moment. Like, I can literally silence all the noise, shut everything down, and like tap into other dimensions, talk to people from other dimensions, <laughs> and like really have a, a sense of clairvoyance to see exactly what's next. But in order for me to do that, I have to cut off everything. In the world, meaning like I can't listen to the opinions of nobody else. I can't go on social media. I literally got to just sit still. And when I when I sit still and get into a place of like meditation and I just like like deep dive into my mind, the shit I come out with is just like boom. And and people are you know maybe criticize this, but I think that like we can all agree that when we stop for a second, yes, and just let our brains create, we come up with our best ideas. 100%. You know, it's like, uh, you know how like when you're in the shower, you always come up with good shit? And it's because you don't got your phone in the shower. You That's right. You don't got right. the TV in the shower. You don't got That's music right. on. You got nothing but That's your right. thoughts. That's right. And I forget about all them shits by the time I dry off. But <laughs> Dreams are good too. That's why I keep yeah. a notepad by my bed. Even if you don't wake up and remember the whole dream, just jot down what you remember. I guarantee you'll be able to fill in the blanks later. Mm. I, I promise you. You remember all your dreams still? Not all, but when I do, when I wake up and I remember something from it, I write it down immediately because I feel like it's something I'm supposed to have. Right. Because I feel like you travel to other dimensions when you sleep. So when you come back with that, that's that's something you're supposed to have. You could have some so, knowledge. Speaking of that, uh, Lil Sun Boy wants to know if you could change or alter one historical event, what would it be? The what? I wouldn't fuck with none of them. If you could change or alter one his- historical event. I don't think you're supposed to fuck with history. I've watched enough Back to the Future. You're saying without having every like any like uh, yeah, that's a tricky one because you also you always want to go back. I mean, you can say that as a black dude, but as a white guy, I can't say that answer. You know, <laughs> like I can't be like I wouldn't change a single thing. Well, no, here's the thing: <laughs> even as a white person, you may want to though because we don't know how this is going to end. Right, you, like eventually, it's like Avengers, right? Yeah, eventually, yeah. everybody got to reap what they sow. That's the thing. Like, I would, I would want to, I want to, you know, make a world that was obviously more equitable. I wish there wasn't slavery. I wish there wasn't the Holocaust. Like, I wish there wasn't people starving all around the world. Obviously, I would try to change all those things. But. I would have to. This is what I would really want, though. Let me see. I would also change girls' second toes longer than their first. Because <laughs> y'all have them. No, I don't like that that much. You don't like the second toe longer than the first. Why are you into that? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like when you girls have a second that toe that's thing. longer than the first. Like, what does it matter? I just don't like that that much. <laughs> I would like to travel and see what the outcomes yeah, would be. I would change that. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me go yeah. see what all the other timelines look like. So if we change this. Then what happens? What happens? You know what I mean? If yep. it's something we can live with, if it's something that makes things better, great. Mm. If not, eh. Yo, what? Okay, what about this, Charlemagne? What happens if... What happens if we change slavery, there's no slavery, and then white people end up dominating the NBA and hip hop? Could you live in a world? Sure. That? Y'all can have that shit. We'll, we'll, we'll give us all the other presidencies. No, you, you, but no, no, but <laughs> you, you never one. come to America. Oh, then that means Africa would be the most lit country, the lit continent on the planet. Wouldn't even be close. Africa, yo, can you imagine if American black culture I didn't think in all Africa, <laughs> Africa would be phenomenal. All our resource, all the resources that Africa has, it'd really be Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Maybe be, y'all would be begging to come to Africa and we'd be saying no. Well, there's still, <laughs> there was still black people in Africa. It's not like, it's not like Africans got rid of all the guys who are good at like rapping. Well, that's debatable. You know, you know what I mean? What, what, <laughs> <laughs> That's how they decided. I mean, debatable. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there hasn't been a lot coming out of it since. We've just now you got some great African superstars in the NBA now. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the African NBA League, though. Yeah, they're doing NBA app. Yeah, I think it's called the BAL, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, what else, Taylor? Someone wants to know if we're going to talk about NBA. They want to know uh, Malcolm underscore Flex. The God, he wants to know if LeBron played in Jordan's era, would we be talking about Jordan the same way? Yes. Would we be talking about Jordan the same yes, way? What do you mean? Would. As in like... Like would LeBron eclipse Jordan if he played in this era? Yes, Jordan would. Yes. I think so. Jordan would still be dominant. Yeah, I agree. LeBron is incredible. Listen, but it's not like... I don't want to say it's not like Jordan hasn't played against a person like LeBron because he has just in different people, right? Mm -hmm. He's played against Magic Johnson. But Magic didn't have the physique like LeBron. But then Jordan played against Karl Malone. Karl Malone definitely had the physique like LeBron. Right. I always say Karl Malone and Magic Johnson had a nut ass and fucking had LeBron James. I've always said that. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James to me is the baby <laughs> I've always of Magic that. Johnson. Literally, I've always said that. <laughs> I've always thought that. You don't yeah. see that? You don't I can see that. Magic yeah. and Le- Magic Johnson and Carl Malone yeah. come together yeah. and create LeBron James. The ball handling and the physique. And yes, the absolutely. Touch. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But I still think Jordan dominated. Yo, I, yo, y'all act like Jordan didn't dominate Hall of Famers, bro. Yeah. Like, what are we oh. talking about? These are great teams. The New York oh. Knicks had a great team. Chill, chill, fucking chill, the chill, Pistons chill, chill. when he finally overcame the Pistons the fucking Indiana Pacers the Seattle Supersonics the Phoenix Suns yeah. the fucking Portland Trailblazers the mm-hmm. Lakers with Magic Johnson the Utah Jazz like these are all world top 50 Hall of Fame players Michael Jordan played against and dominated them they don't exist because of MJ mm. okay anything else um, <laughs> yeah just one more thing uh, big CJ one K wants to know: Do you think the age limit for president should be lower? No. Why? Why not? I think they need to make all qualifications for president higher. After Donald Trump, somebody needs to change the fucking rules. I'm not what even joking. What should they be? You at least gotta have you. You at least have to have some type of college education, and more importantly, some type of political experience. But how do you get political experience? By being a mayor, being a congressman, being on city council, being a fucking school superintendent. I don't fucking know. You don't want to do that pussy ass shit. Hey, man, I'm just saying, like, I think that they should make qualifications for president. Everybody should not be able to run for president. It's the president of the United States of America, bro. Yeah. Like, I know that Donald Trump made it look sexy for celebrities to do it and the bar is very low. But once again, this why I'm not even really, I'm not mad at Trump. Mm. He's not a politician. <laughs> he was the executive producer of Celebrity Apprentice. Flavor Flav was a bigger reality <laughs> show star Definitely. than Donald Trump. Nah, nah. Yes, Easily. Nah. Yes. Easily. He has three. Flav, three Flav launched a whole franchise. If Flavor Flav was president right now, that shit would be crazy. It would be crazy. They would have been. They wouldn't have let it happen. They would have been like, "Nah, this is fucked." They would have changed yeah, shit. Boy. They would have changed shit before he even became elected, yo. Y'all have to look at things in a black perspective sometimes. I'm trying to think if there's somebody else because Flavor of Love, uh, Flavor Flav is such a cartoon character. It doesn't count. Donald Who's Trump is. Else? Yeah, he is, but he was also like, you know, running an international business. Hulk Hogan. We'll do black. Give me black. <laughs> Junkyard dog. I don't fucking know who's black. Um. Kanye. Yeah. We're yeah, not doing Kanye, pe- bro. People would lose their mind. We're not doing no exactly. Yeah, that yeah, Kanye yeah. is the perfect example. Yeah, yeah. We'd lose our mind. We'd we just d- stop it. That's yeah, it. He's unfit. He's mentally unfit. And now and see the but but in America, yeah. white males, old white males yeah. that are rich, yeah, have that symbolism. Like yeah. in charge, authority. Yep. They can handle it. They can do it. Yep. If it was fucking Kanye West, we'd lose our fucking mind. Bro. Yeah. Did he? I don't think so. L- no. What I don't think Rock? people would lose their mind with lose Diddy. Lose their minds. With Diddy? Yes. I don't think so, bro. I think so. Diddy would just move on to, the, like, he wouldn't, he don't have to be consistent with one thing, though. What yeah, I don't want to see Ciroc to vote, bro. Like, that wouldn't, Ciroc that would <laughs> like, that wouldn't work, bro. Ciroc Obama was not <laughs> happening, okay? What about The Rock? I don't even know what The Rock is. What is The Rock? Yeah, it's like is- Samoan or something like that. It's like Hawaiian, some kind of shit. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> that anyway. makes you want to bring your <laughs> I don't like talking about The Rock for some reason. I like The Rock. <laughs> I fucked with The Rock. I fuck with The Rock, too. The Rock sent us some tequila. What's the name of tequila? Trey, Trey Way. <laughs> what is it called? What is it called? <laughs> What's the name of tequila? Tulelium? To- Tremendo. Terror. He said, he said, he said, he fucks with you, too. He follows you and yeah, shit. He man. posts about you. He's been cool. I shouted him out one time on Breakfast Club, and he sent us a bottle. Did that. he really? Yeah, I ain't yeah, got yeah, no bottle yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Rock. You ain't shout out to tequila. What's the <laughs> name of it? Send me your Latinx tequila right now. Oh my 
Terramana. 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 It's, it's, it's actually good. I fuck with it. I fuck with Terramana. My man. All right. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. You don't have to fucking tell us how stupid we are every week. That's the point. Thank you for listening. Peace.